Now, Ryan, how's it going? It's going good. How's it going with you? Uh, pretty good. I uh, just won the lottery. What? Like, wait a minute. Back to back cash for life. Well, like the Powerball lottery or the one from that short story you have to read in ninth grade where the lady just gets killed? What? I don't remember that one. You remember, like, the whole story? It's called The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. And it's like, oh, she won the lottery. And everyone's like, whoa, the odds of that were, like, so low. You're so lucky. And then they just throw rocks at her until she dies because that's what the lottery was for. Like, it was a lottery you actually want to lose, not a lottery you want to oh, win. Oh, I feel like maybe, maybe that... Something's coming back. That seems familiar. I thought you meant, like, like culturally... <laughs> like we're <laughs> we're gonna bring back that style of lottery. No, that's yeah. just that's unnecessary. Up. Just just put a bullet in their head. No, because then what do you think? Bullets grow on trees. You gotta you gotta use rocks. Anyway, I uh, they just grow in the ground. Um, I uh, sent you a squad stream invite. We're gonna play uh, Spelunky Two Co-op, and then when that ends. Half uh, 90 minutes or two hours in, I'm going to send us off with a little bit of chess here on Monday. Don't be mad at me that Josh isn't here. He's yeah. older than I am. I don't I don't tell him what to do. If anything, he should tell me what to do. Mm, you want that? No, because he just tells me to do, like, F myself, F you, yeah. eat my B. You know, like self-love is important, Ryan. Uh, you know, I believe that. That's what I've been told. Yeah. That's, that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to invite me or should I invite you? Um, I don't think it matters too much. Um, I'm just give me one second. I am. No, do do what you got. You were you eating something over there? Did I, did I hear some lip smacks? Um, yes and no. What do you what do you mean by that? How can it be yes and no? I mean, I was, but that was like a couple minutes ago. Was it like uh... I still got the like the lick smacky <laughs> mouth, you know, after you eat food for a little while, it's like kind of like, I guess, the residue. Oh, yes. You know, that's that's the stage I'm at. I always get like after I eat, it depends on what I eat, but I have like a little phlegm in my throat for maybe like 15 minutes afterwards. I don't know if, if everybody experiences the same thing, but after I eat, I have to go like, <laughs> like, I gotta constantly justify that I'm not actually sick. I'm just like, I just gotta like clear my throat a little bit. Um, Houston. Yeah, what's up? I keep trying to get out of the steam overlay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to fix that or is it literally a force quit? I th no, you don't have to force quit. What you can do instead, hold on, I'm putting the red emoji in my going live tweet. What you can do instead is just, and you're gonna laugh, but it works. You're gonna, I'll, I'll choose a different character so that we, we're just good to go. And then you're just gonna shift tab and then press A on your controller as fast as possible. And then He's right. you should be able to launch from that. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't mean to brag. I had a pretty good run. Uh... Wow, this is even smoother with two people, huh? Ah, never mind. That feels good. <laughs> I had uh, I had a pretty good run just before the stream started. Oh really? Oh really? Uh oh. I don't is mean that... to brag, but I got crushed by an elevator in Neo Babylon. Well, that's not as good as I thought you were gonna say, but that's still it's, pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> what level of Neo? Uh, the uh, the level with the Ushab T. <laughs> oh, yeah. A I mean, as happens actually... to me, I, I get lost in the sauce. I look for, uh, you know, it's on site. I, I get lost in the sauce, and then I go, you know what? Let's just, uh, you know, tunnel vision on this one particular thing, and then I just get crushed and I get mad. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's Spelunky, baby. That's the way to do it. Oh, this is uh, this is key floor. I got the key, baby. Dude. I honestly, I'm being so sincere right now. I don't see a way that we don't win this run. Or, like, whatever our definition of winning is, 
I don't see it <clears throat> happening. Um, yeah, I think two two player is it, it it hits a sweet spot in in my opinion because you don't have to share as many resources. Yeah. Um, and like I mean, you probably won't uh, jump into a mech and then just throw bombs uh, in every direction, and then one of those pasted bombs uh, maybe sticks me for no reason, and then. Uh, yeah, I did see that. That was. What was your you know? What was your take on that? Well, <laughs> I mean, I think I probably would have reacted in a similar way. Um, just <laughs> it was funny though. It was funny. It, oh, I've, oh I've been my. told that it was humorous. Don't yeah. don't leave it. Don't leave it. Yeah. Ooh, no, no, no. God. Don't go there. Don't go there. There's a skeleton coming down. No, it's a oh, caveman. Oh, trap. I see. It's a caveman, and then there you go. Look at that. There we go. No big deal. Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, wait, what do we got here? It's oh. just a couple of stinky animals. What happens yeah, if you get a pet shop on the same floor that you have Yang? Like, does he just go nuclear? This is Yang's floor. Yeah, but you don't get... Um... Actually, yeah. I... You kind of... You'd expect Yang to be a little ticked off, right? You should buy a rope. Okay, I'll, I'll buy some ropes. I'm also going <laughs> to buy Monty. Um, if you if you buy the turkey, do you get the key to go in there, or is that just like? I think you can deliver the turkey, but I mean it's kind of counterproductive because usually it's just money in there, Yo, you know. Mouth. What if we engaged in the perfect crime though? We gave the turkeys to Yang, and then we use Yang's key to go to the shopkeeper's vault. <laughs> what about you know, that? Okay, I, I, I'm down for it, but... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. No I'll rush. Monty first. I think I can I can probably get the ghost pot, too. So just give me a... Okay, this has already gone off. I can get I can get a turkey here. How oh. many do we need? Did you deliver any? No, we need two, but I got one up here with me. So I can just bring okay. that one down. Um. Yeah, I just got to kill this guy, but I got, I got a sand shrew and a... There we go. Okay. Sam's reward was buffed recently. Oh, that's good. It still sucks. <laughs> I I bring the turkeys to that son of a gun all the time. He's trashed here, man. Like he did. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rope. Him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I if I can bad. just like, cause he doesn't get mad if you go in through the backside. Yang does it. Yeah, like if you're in the second. Wait, where where the heck is he? He's he's. We got a bomb to get to him. It's up to. I mean, oh. I think we should do it. Oh, I'm happy to spend a bomb. Uh, well, I've got five. I should probably nah, spend it. I come just... on, it's, look at this. It's, it's my idea. I'm I'm willing to okay. I'm willing to eat it. I love. That there's definitely yeah, like dude, torches like, in there. Uh, but... Look at look at watch this. If okay. if we just go in here in this door. Okay. And then you go to the watch out skeleton. What'd you call me? <laughs> Here, you get you get whatever's in there. Mm, that's okay. <laughs> Will the shopkeeper See, get mad if I uh, if I go into his vault with this key? Will it even work? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. I never I never go on the Whoops. shopkeeper one. <laughs> Dude, let's let's do it. If he gets mad, just uh, just, oh, just leave. Yeah. No, he's he's. Yo, cool. there's a compass in here. Oh, snap. No, that was pretty good, actually. All right, there we go. Now, today I learned. Hey, that was right. okay. That's fine. Uh oh. Go for it. Go for I, it. I was gonna get yeah, it, no, but it's all I good. didn't want to risk it. Ooh. And I, dude, I'm not gonna deny it. Like as I get closer to actually accomplishing something of merit in Spelunky 2, the more I'm like, I gotta play more co-op with Mouth so I can ask him questions. Like, I'm an open book. I, I don't know if. I'll be of any help though. I, I don't know what um well, You like, know, it's like it's like what's that uh, the term when you've done something so long and you've put so much time into it that you don't know like what you don't know? Mm. You know? Is that teaching? You know? Me like but like you know somebody's trying to explain something to somebody and they just assume they know the same stuff. Right, yeah. Even though yeah, yeah it's got a term but anyways, that's kind of what I feel like in Spelunky. I just no, I, I get it. You're like, you're so good 
that not you, good. You don't yeah. even like when you encounter people who are bad, you can't even talk to them because they don't even know how bad they are. Well, I just think they're pathetic. So, <laughs> uh, where, where do you want to go? Uh, I would like to go to the black market as always. Okay. Um, I think we can. Uh, kill you want him. you want me to try and bomb this guy? I think I think we can just. He's probably so close to throwable range. I could web him. Oh! It didn't take. It didn't take. Oh, he destroyed it. There were sparks. <laughs> oh, okay. Just. Oh, but you yeah, know. You, I, do, I got I, a rock. I could I got launch a, a bomb into it. No, just that's. You're you're now like you don't even know what you don't know. I'm I'm in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I only have one bomb, so I'm ah, okay. There you go. I'm gonna take. Uh, oh, you got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all you, baby. There, there. Okay. Yeah, dude, that was pretty good. It's good. How was your uh, your holiday season? Uh, it was very very nice. Um, kind of just did nothing. We played a lot of stock ticker and a little Catan and. That's pretty much it. So, kind of a dream come true. That sounds nice. Yeah, we had food. Um, what kind of food? Well, we had the usual. You, had, we had you the a turkey, turkey family? The, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the 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 dressing, the stuffing. Although this is that's where you get bigger differences. It's like what kind of what's the recipe? You know, we do like a bread based one, which I learned right. was kind of not as common. What's what's the alternative to a bread based dressing? I mean, there's rice. What? <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's bread bread and potatoes in it. Maybe the potato is the weird part for some people. I'm bad, but I I thought breadcrumbs or like not even crumbs, but like they're like they're like cubes. soft and yeah. croutons, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was like the the main or the only. I did too, but then apparently somebody was like, yo, you guys are weird. I was like, what? Here, I'll uh Yeah, yeah I think you should. I think it's worth more to you. But then, like, I know we, we go through this every time. I think that you should sack me. I think it's just, I think it's worth it. I think it's just worth it. You're gonna ask me twice. Look at that, what'd you get? Climbing gloves. Ooh, yeah. baby. Oh, you're pink. That's nice. Dude. That's a nice color. All right, well, <laughs> weird. Uh, you just need Monty, and then you got the Kapala. Oh! <laughs> That was juicy. Um, these climbing gloves, though. You don't like them? Well, no, it's just I gotta get used to them, you know? Mm. I, I do like climbing gloves. Can it, while, you, while you're doing that, call me if you need me. I'll keep my okay. headphones on. But Chad is, like, obsessed with this sweater right here. So this is the it's the Fall Guys sweater that I got sent uh, by Mediatonic. So it's got, like, a, a Fall Guy on it. And, like, it's pretty nice. Like, it's it's a nice jumper. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 for it. What color? It's like extremely multicolored. It's like the Ooh. shoulders are purple, then it's like baby blue on the chest, and then a lot of yellow and green in there too. Like it's an ugly Christmas sweater type uh, thing, but because it's ugly on purpose, it's actually like nice drip. I I, I you gotta rock it. It's all about confidence. That's the one thing I've learned about. I will also say like for sure. As a dad, you can just get away with whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. Like, and because it doesn't matter, you make it work. Like a well, that's... An, an old sweatshirt and then like a George Costanza hat. On a on a single guy, you're like, what the heck? That's like, I don't know. You you look like George Costanza, but on a that's dad, what... they're like, that's a dad who's so he's got so much stuff going on. He's been so busy raising his kid that he hasn't had a chance to keep up with the trends. Um, yeah, it's like that's how you know they care about their kid exactly. when they don't care about them themselves. Did you hear the, I mean, I guess probably not, <laughs> but did you hear the story of how uh, Iggy Azalea, um, she had a kid with a rapper named Playboy Cardi, and Playboy Cardi could not be at the birth because he was busy playing PlayStation 5 with little Uzi Vert? No, come on, man. It's pretty good. It's a great story. It's yeah. it's one of my favorite news stories of 2020. Go go ahead and do the moon challenge. It's all right. I'll just hang out. Yeah, but I I want to get you. Yeah, but uh, who knows where I am though? Could be could be yeah. anywhere, man. All right. Um. Um. No, I, I was, did not hear that. I was laughing, and then like in the comments, there's like uh, or in the in the Twitter replies, there's a guy who's probably like 12 years old who's like. Uh, 
Uh, you know, hey, I'm just asking an honest question, but like, I'll be there for the rest of the little dude's life, but do I really have to be there for the birth? Like, it's kind of gross. I'm like, man, I should have tried that one. <laughs> My old boss, um, I mean, he's a cool guy, but he used to, like, he was a, the kind of, like, the work hard, play hard kind of guy, which okay. I totally, I, you know, I, I get it and, and respect it to some level, but he'd always bring up the fact that, like, he missed the birth of one of his daughters because he was at work, and, like, yeah, it's not know, something man. to be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I get it, you know, you want to work, and he tried to use that as a motivator to get other people to work. Like, I'm still gonna take Christmas off. Uh, don't <laughs> like. Yeah, that's like really bad. Yeah, but you know, at that point, he already had like three other childbirths, so he's. Oh, you know, he's, he's like I've, it's, I've been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> go. Oh, nice jump. It's just I, yeah. I was laughing because I was like, man, what a like, like the the kid who was like, do I really need to be there for the birth? It's kind of gross. And I'm like, well, don't do the crime if you can't do the time for one yeah, but then secondarily like what else are you gonna like do like what what's more important than being there for like the birth of your child like if you had if your child was being born and simultaneously like a very close family member was about to die it'd be pretty close yeah no that i think that would that would take some You'd, you'd at least have to think about it. You wouldn't, mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't just be like, oh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, man. New Warzone patch. You know what? I'll, I'll hold yeah. on to this piece of junk right here. I'm just getting the... Uh, oh, the Children the, of the Forest. The sister. Yeah. yeah. By all means. By all means. I'll just... I'll expedite the process of getting through the end of the floor. Yeah, yeah. All right. I got her. I'm good to go whenever. It's just wild to me, man. Like, I'm... I can't imagine, like trying to sell that one like i here's my limited advice you know i've only gone through it once ah i'm okay i'm okay i'm gonna take one more hit but i'm okay um here's my limited advice you know even if you think you got a point uh you know the wife or the mother at least is gonna have a much worse day than you no matter what just do what mm -hmm. she tells you yeah man even the doctor's gotta be there he's never even met you <laughs> yeah. before and he's Seeing all that, like, ooh, gross! gross. Like every day. I gotta deliver. Like if it was a friend's baby, whatever. But a stranger's baby, gross. Right. What's up? What's up? Go buy all that good. No, good, dude, good. I'm gonna die. I got one HP. You should buy it. I'm not. I'm not just trying to be that guy. Like no, you. But I literally with one HP, I got nothing. I got nothing. Alright. Well, I should have at least. You should have. Maybe I should have got you to get the bomb. No, bag, no, so. no, no, no. I think this is. I think this is fair. So you have the Ujedi, so I will listen for your your, your guidance. Um, Ooh. yeah, it's, oh, uh, what, what, what? Don't worry. It's not on this, it's not on oh. this level. Okay, okay. Because I also have the compass and it's, Ah, uh, that's right. Oh, you have the Kapala. I should have let you jump on this guy. That's no, 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 it's okay. I, freaking, witch doctor. <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta go to the oh, right. Oh, it, it's not this way. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, you're so you're so confident on these spikes. I get so scared every time. I I mean, I still get scared, but it's like, oh, what are you gonna do? It's like yeah, <laughs> Just... bravery is uh, being scared but doing it anyway. That's what I've always heard. I've never said it. Never had a chance. Isn't that something about fear? Fear is like, you know, people people have fear, but courage is like doing it anyways something like that i don't know one of, one of those sorts of things here i'm i'm willing <laughs> i'm willing to give my life for the cause mouth well i didn't find the sister yet that's the oh thing. she's not in there no all right i'll just wait at the exit take your take your time okay found her um i'm gonna drop the idol for you though please do please do there we go i'm gonna put put that right in right in Dude, I actually like I had um a like a cold sweat. My my blood ran cold this weekend. I thought I gave my daughter PTSD. So she was in Ow. she's in like the baby bouncer where like you use your foot to just kind of bounce her and she's laughing and having a great mm -hmm. time. She's smiling. She's like this is awesome. And then uh Kate had bought these like cream puffs for the holidays, like these nice little like profiteroles that were like 
super artsy and delicious. And I was eating one. Um, I was like, I want to be clear. I was like 10 feet away from the baby and the bouncer. I'm ready to go, by the way. Um, I was like 10 feet away from the baby and the bouncer, but just had one of those moments where I dropped the plate and then tried to catch it like 20 times in the air, but just ended up like juggling it and then dropping it in a much more like dirty way, like mm -hmm. a much more clumsy way where it landed like on an edge. So it like exploded. No, no ceramic chunks got near the baby, just to be clear. But the noise was so loud and so unexpected that she just immediately hit like nuclear level. She was, <laughs> she was so upset. She was inconsolable for like two hours, just Damn. just because I just because her dad is a little clumsy. But it got now me thinking, she's... like, it sucks being a baby, right? Because, like, anything that happens to you is, like, the worst thing that's happened in your whole life. Like, every single slight that you face is the worst slight you've ever experienced. Every single, uh... No, it's a boomerang. Every single scary thing is the scariest thing you've ever gone through in your life. Like, it's a lot of pressure. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. I, I trust you, Malph. I trust you. Um. Well. Okay. Just grab grab yourself a little hedge or yeah, something. Yeah, you buy you buy whatever you need as well. Okay. Just don't 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 think about it. Just just don't do it. Don't think about we, it. Just do it. All right. I understand. Okay. There's the ghost. We 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 can we can kite the ghost a little bit. We can do this. There's some bombs in the bottom row. I think I'm good, honestly. All right. So wait. Let's wait till the ghost. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going back in. Oh, there's two ghosts. Okay. I'm going. Oh, fuck. No, it's all you, baby. Okay. I'm just gonna. Ah! <laughs> That's my bad. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I, I feel like every that's the second time that we've had one of those situations where like we're in the black market with the ghost, and then we try to. You know, Jimmy the door, and we just get uh, we just get destroyed on the way out. Yeah, almost had him. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't played in a week either. So you haven't you, played you Spelunky should... two in a week. Yeah, man, it's been wild. Like I just went mostly offline. I mean, my parents don't even have good internet, so not that, that I need They're on that dial-up. It's not dial-up, but it's like really bad cable where they overpromise. Like, oh yeah, oh, you'll, yeah. yeah, you'll get you get twenty-five down. <laughs> <laughs> Do they live in like the the city or? Uh... No, they they live like they're in the you know it's Niagara Falls region, yeah. Saint Catharines region, but not. No, they live in, the, in the, the the cove behind Niagara Falls. Like if you go down the, the waterfall and then behind it, you and that's where their house is. Yeah. Right. Right by the the power plant that's hidden in there too. <laughs> the secret waterfall. Oh, they're just—it's just like a small little area where like a lot of. <laughs> sorry, sorry. People—it's like Canada's Florida. Like people go to to retire because it's generally warmer in the summer months. In Niagara Falls. Yeah, it's the banana belt, dude. That's where they grow all the fruit. Really? I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, just the way like the land mass is. I mean, that's also where you know. I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea Canada had something called the banana belt. Oh yeah, it looks like a banana. Like it, when you look at it on a map and it's also appropriate because that's where, they don't grow bananas. I was gonna say, there's no know, way they could grow bananas there. There's but. grapes, there's apple orchards and like, you know, <laughs> um, other stuff. That's wild. So the, you is. can actually live, you'd be like, yeah, I live in the golden horseshoe. Oh, uh, what part of uh, the banana belt? Yeah, you. Right. That would be an okay thing to say. All right, Dan can never know. Although it's probably technically the Greater Golden Horseshoe um, at that distance, but you know. <laughs> you want any goodies? Um, I. You know, I'm. I'm being this guy again. I think you should take what you like, which I assume is shoes and cape if you can afford it. Um, I mean, I'd rather just steal the stuff. If you want to steal it, you can steal it. Oh, well, the only problem dude, is, this is gotta uh, get, yeah, it's key we gotta floor. get back up for the, the key, so. So where where was the lock? It was like mid left behind. <sighs> behind the shop. We're, we're gonna have to bomb through. So, if can you? Yeah, you can. We can. Okay. Here, check this out. 
Yeah, that's, that's good. And then I'm just going to give you a quick one of these. Oh, he's chucking it? Easy. Chuck Liddell. <laughs> All right. Uh, you've got more. You got oh, one yeah. more. You should, I, would, I would love to. And then, I mean, I guess, so you're going to steal after that, you think? Yeah, I mean, if there's anything you want, you can always buy it. I think yeah, you should just, you know, grab the cape and run through. Or are you going to, are you, how do you do this so you also get the shotgun? Uh, I just use the rope and then I Oh, and then I the cape comes on naturally. Yeah, okay. like yeah. if he's got the cell, then he always drops the key in front. And I usually just don't bother then. Because hmm. you got to pick up the key first and then you got to yeah. drop it. Who do you think is going to win in the fight? Um, <laughs> in the uh, fight. Is it Jake Paul or Logan Paul that's fighting, uh, you know, boxer, boxer? Who, who do I boxer. think is going to win? Jake Paul, Disney Channel YouTuber, or professional boxer? Yes. Um, this might sound like I'm giving too much credit to Jake Paul, but I would need to know the particulars of the boxer. Is he is he a professional boxer? Is it's yeah, he's it's the, Floyd he's the one it's that, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, Floyd Mayweather. That's oh my god, one. that's I mean he's like the greatest boxer of all time. But what if I don't know what the odds are, but we should probably put twenty bucks on it just in case. Dude, why not? I'm I'm all for it. I mean our, our friend was trying to get us to uh, start farming a cryptocurrency, not mining. I'm like, hey man, I'm not I'm not saying no to anything right now. Let's put 20 bucks on Jake Paul to beat uh, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, watch out, there's a shopkeeper. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Um, we don't really need to deposit, Monty, but I wonder if I if I could just bounce him, and then he'll... He's gonna make it, dude. Well. Okay, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do. He's, he's going for it, man. He made it. There we go. I feel like yeah. um, I feel like Jake Paul is underrated as a boxer from people who have not watched his fights or even mm -hmm. like the highlights, and they just assume like because they don't like him personally, he must not be good at this thing. Um, but I mean, it is the probably the greatest boxer of all time. I, I feel um, like I would. Uh, you doing all right down there? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. No, I feel I know, like I, I would I was... probably. Uh, I would probably bet on Mayweather in that one. How old is Mayweather? He's like pushing fifty, right? He's got to be in his like mid forties, early forties. I mean, if he was like sixty, I might entertain the thought more. Forty-three. Forty-three is not that. It's not that old. Or when I don't know. I feel like that's pretty old for a box, though, right? Is it? Like, I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was gonna, I was gonna say you should take mm. that stuff. I have to go through here to keep the turkey, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna get some money in here. No, please oh. do. He's fighting Logan Paul. Oh, Logan Paul. Then who's? Oh yeah, Jake Paul's the one who's gonna fight all the hockey players. Yeah, yeah. I bet. I know, because I know they're one or both of them, like, are actually trained in, like, you know, wrestling, like MMA, to some extent, but. They're not the same guy. No, they're, they're brothers. Yeah, twins. He's not heavy, man. Twins, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Yo, there's some pace down there for you. Oh, baby. Or for. You yeah, got, for me. For you, me, got, for you, me. Got, you got. Bombs. This time, I'll. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's an altar, and there's Monty. Dude. Dude. So I can kill this guy? Oh, please do. Please do. Well, er, well, I'll kill him in a bit. Um, Honestly, I'm just going to open up like a portal that we can shove all these bodies through. Dude. Even though like it's kind of a... It's not the best... Oh, I probably should have done it right here, but that's okay. It's not the best use of a bomb, but I think it raises our chance of getting the Kapala without sacrificing one another. Okay. I didn't pick up the good stuff. Oh, the sticky, the sticky icky. The, the sticky icky. 
The, the oh, there's another creatures. spider. We can both have sticky. Oh. <laughs> Hoo ah. Hoo ah. <laughs> Yeah, if anything, I've learned, like, most of my financial stuff from the office, but when Ke Kevin was like, if anything is 10,000 to one, like, you, oh, always, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you always put 20 bucks down. That's just like, what would you actually make from it? That's like... Apparently, someone in chat was saying that uh, the Floyd Mayweather is a minus 35,000 to win, which is basically, like, if you bet... Wait, no, I have it the opposite. He's 3,500 on Jake Paul to win, or Logan Paul, or whichever Paul is doing the fight. Um, which means if you bet, I think if you bet $100, you would win more money than $100. Do you want a shotgun? Dude, there's another shotgun? So you see this the bloody spike by the caveman? Yes. It's in the block just to the right of that. Oh, but I, I got no ropes, dude. You got two bombs. Just bomb to the left by where the monkey is. Put a bomb there, and it'll free it. Hold on, hold on. Because I feel like we're, favor-wise, we're like right there with the Kapala, you know? Who oh, yeah, I, I don't need a dang shotgun. It's, okay, that's, you know. It's, I'm more dangerous without it than with it. Yeah, that's doesn't that true. mean you have to bet 3,500 on Floyd Mayweather to make a hundred back. I don't know why they, why don't they just like do it normally? You know what I mean? Why do they always got to use such insular mathematics? Yeah, and why, you know, why, whenever they talk about gambling, they're like, the juice is running, the vig, yeah. they got all oh, these terms. Oh, he's got to like, cover the spread. He's got to cover the spread. And you're like, yeah. Do, like, why, don't you just, why don't they just have like win lose, you know? Like, oh, are they going to win or are they going to lose? Yeah. Okay, Malf, I'm, I'm relying He's... on you here. Should I, I'm going. Okay, that's fine. We, yeah, we didn't have time. Like, why why do they always have to... Like, I don't want to do this spread. Why don't you just let me be like, oh, like... Like, doesn't that make it so much harder to watch sports? Yeah, like, yeah, the Celtics won, but they only won by five. Fucking losers. They had to win by seven for me to... Like, I don't even know what it means. I think that's what made uh, Uncut Gems so stressful for me. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, I, had I to... don't know if like what he's doing is like super hard and risky. Like, I, th I think it was like day, he was bro. he was he was doing pro line. I think I think he just had a really long pro line ticket, and he was so. he was like, oh, I need the Kings to beat uh, to beat the Blackhawks. Oh, I gotta I gotta. Oh, I see the I see the black market. Um, yeah, do do your altar thing. Um, okay, he's gotta be close. But like, Monty, yeah, it's right here. So. I'm so stupid. I'll bring the idol with me as well. Yeah. Do you, did you, you didn't get the Kabbalah yet, no. right? All right, well, you can buy Monty in here. You know what? That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Um... <laughs> I just don't get the spread, man. That's all I'm saying. The spread is just like, it's like wiggle room, isn't it? Yeah, but why, why don't they just, like, instead of having a spread... Wait, is that the way it works? Is that they have a spread so that it is 50-50? They don't... I, I don't know. It's so Because, like, weird, it, wouldn't man. it be so hard to be like, no, they gotta win, like, by this exact amount of points? That See, now we're talking. Those are the bets that I respect. When somebody posts their betting slip and it's like, oh, I bet that the Chargers would beat the Rams 41-6. to I'm like, wow, dude, that's crazy. And then you're like, oh, they made the extra point. Too bad. I don't know. I'd be like, yo, I think this team's going to win by, you know, within 80 points. <laughs> you just make safe Although, gambles. Although, you know, if it was the Mavericks game, I might have lost. <laughs> I, I, I don't watch basketball. There, no, they, there's a new record. By halftime, the Ma I forget who they were playing, but this is just the other day. They were up by like 50 points at halftime. Wow. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's scary. There's, uh, I mean, you, there's a uh, bombs here. You sh actually, I'm gonna buy the bombs because I have zero. Yeah, that seems fair. But, I mean, there's some spike shoes down. Yeah, here. I think I'm gonna grab some boots so that I'm like protected. The pitcher's mitt? Buy whatever the heck oh, you want. Pitcher's I'm going to buy like, ropes. Pitcher's well. mitt is a slap in the face. 
I got a pitcher's mitt anyways, if we do need it. Yeah, I'm gonna i I'm gonna get cheap stuff, cheap value adds. Mm -hmm. Pick up some ropes. Dun, 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 dun. And then I'm gonna get the other shoes. And then I think I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I don't yeah, I don't understand gambling. Not not like like I kind of understand the thrill, I suppose. Yeah. Now I have the Kapala. Oh, I don't. I do have the Kapala. Okay. Um, I just. I, I don't understand. Like, why do they have to make it? Like, it, you know how? That's how I know gambling or any hobby for that matter was invented by nerds. Is because as soon as nerds get their their little claws in a hobby, it becomes inaccessible. They start to create like their own uh, nomenclature, their own verbiage. Like it used to be. Like, hey, you know, I, I'm a. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Pump. <laughs> Sorry. It used to yeah. be like, oh, we, you know, it's a little green goblin, and now it's like, like two weeks later, people are like, uh, is a poison kobold. Like it's like you've never, like they, it's it's gatekeeping central. Mm -hmm. They're just trying to uh, Benjamin butt it. No. Um, <laughs> ben, they're trying to Benjamin money ball, butt money ball. It. Brad Pitt. Billy, yeah, Billy his, Bean, Billy, Billy Bean. Bean. They're Benjamin Button. Mm -hmm. Billy oh, Bean. Brad Pitt. Brad. They're both Pitt. played by Brad Pitt. You want me to do the moon challenge? Uh, we need money. Oh, you're absolutely right. I was 100% oh. sure he meant Rain Man. <laughs> Kmart. We gotta go to the Kmart. Kmart. People's Court. Now that's a movie. I haven't seen that in a long while. I think we watched it in psychology class in, in 11th grade, which is just like... I mean, I guess... Um, it's like, why? Like, I mean... It, like, it, it kind of has to do with, like... Tangentially yeah. related, <laughs> related, but... I got... I got, I got money for it. Dude, you. dude. Yeah, you drop it off. I'll, I'll get that clover ASAPP. There you go. Yoink. Dude, I don't... Do you know... Oh, is the sister top left? Um, let me check. Oh, she is. I can she see, is. actually. Oh, she's like tippy top left. Which is bad news, bears. Do you think got... you can name every movie you watched in high school? Like, actually, in high school or not just like my life during No, high no, not, not your life from ages 14 to 18. But Shh. like every movie you watched in class. Um. Uh, I mean, I could list a bunch, but I'm sure I would miss some. Like, uh, we're talking about, like, movie movies, not, like, educational movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, what's the one with, um, uh, the Vertical Limit? We did watch Vertical Limit, yes. Armageddon? Many times, I believe, yes. Um, oh, uh, 1984. Right, okay. Hmm... What else? Because I know we watched a few for physics class, and we were like, does it make yeah. sense? No, Speed. We watched Speed. I remember Speed. We watched uh, The Core, the for core, sure. Yes. With Aaron the Eckhart. Um, I think that's it. No, that's no, not it. No, because it, in... Uh, here's here's one. I'm not sure if you if we were in the same class. But in ninth grade geography, we watched Dumb and Dumber. And then in 10th grade French, we watched Dumb and Dumber in French. So uh, I, 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 that might make it the only movie that I have ever seen in two languages. I don't think I saw... Were, I don't... Were we in the same 10th grade French class? I feel like there was actually, only we one. Were, yeah. I think that's like when I... That was when, when I actually notice. kind of started yeah. like getting to know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I, re I remember, I remember chat, Ryan used to sit in like the back left corner sounds, and he'd lean his right. chair back up against the wall. <laughs> and I was just look at this guy. I was like, this guy thinks he's so good looking. <laughs> it's like, what's this guy's deal? And then, uh, yeah. And then our teacher told us how a student used to think that uh, he was, that she was hitting on him. Cause she had like a, she winked all the time. Yeah, she had a, like a nervous tick. Yeah. Fun class. 
Not really. So, yeah, it was the last French class I ever took. You ready to go under here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we only got three Let's total let them, bombs. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that unity. I will use both of my bombs here. Uh, <laughs> all right, we got ropes. <laughs> I thought I saved uh, two of them, but I guess not. Um, and I, I don't know. <laughs> do you want, do you want to fight him or should I fight him? I mean, I got a shotgun, so I can actually. All right, I'll just, I'll hang out up here for a bit then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. So while, while you fight Olmec, I'm gonna try to go like, I know in ninth grade geography, we watched Dumb and Dumber, Dante's Peak, the volcano movie. Yes, um, of course. <laughs> we watched Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. Almost none of these have anything to do with geography, I'll admit. Um, and then in French, definitely Dumb and Dumber. Definitely Ace Ventura 2 when nature calls. I don't remember that at all. Maybe this was ninth grade French then, now that I think about it. Um, in 10th grade history class, we watched All Quiet on the Western Front. In 11th grade philosophy, no, in 12th grade philosophy, we watched The Matrix and I Heart Huckabees. Did I? I don't think I took that class. I don't think so either. Um... Oh, dude. Yeah, in 11th grade history class, our teacher had a brother who was teaching ESL in China. Um, and he sent us a pirated copy of Troy because it was still in theaters. And I remember when the DVD booted up on the TV, it said Tori, which was hilarious. But, <laughs> so we did watch Troy. We were going to watch, we were going to do a field trip to watch Alexander in theaters. But then when the reviews came out, they were like, it's like, you know, a one out Not of ten. Good. Yeah, so... But it's got Colin Farrell and uh, what's his name? Rosario. It does Clerks have two. Yeah, it's got Rosario Dawson and uh, Angelina Jolie. I think it is Val Kilmer. I think Val Val Kilmer plays Colin Farrell's dad. What? That sounds right to me. Is that right? Chat, can you go that to was... IMDb for Alexander and figure out if Val Kilmer plays Philip II of Macedonia? <laughs> <laughs> Can you check it, please? <laughs> no. I've I'm pretty I've seen maybe not all of Alexander, but I feel like I would have remembered that. I've never seen it. It's not very good. I, I mean, it's and not I good. like those movies too. I like those historical epics. Like I watched Battlefield Earth last night. Yo, that's, no, that's one I've actually never. Dude, no, no, it's I've so seen, good. <laughs> I've, I've loosely seen it. John Travolta is just, he's chewing scenery non-stop in, in battle, uh, Battlefield Earth. While well, you were still learning to spell your name, I was being trained to conquer galaxies. To do anything less would be a disgrace to my entire family line. It's actually like Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. <laughs> I <laughs> and yeah, the movie did make me want to throw up, like... Because it's it's filmed at like a 35 degree angle. Oh. That's how everything is at 35 degrees in the future. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright. I'm, uh... Oh, I'm almost done, I think. You do what you Sorry. gotta do. I'm just trying not to yeah, die. Yeah, of course. You know. That movie was so bad it bankrupted the studio. It's got like, no. man, it's got like a horrible, um, like multiple times throughout the movie within the first half hour, the lead actor falls to his knees in slow motion and shouts no into like into the sky. Like it's just nonstop. Why do movies do that? You know, they do it with the <laughs> levator. No. Yeah. It's like a movie that's made by someone who's never seen movies before. But there is, it's almost like, because it's so bad, but it's also kind of Shakespearean, it takes on an interesting level of melodrama. Right up, oh. Like when he goes, <laughs> That's why we've decided to keep you on Earth, not for another five cycles, but for another 50 cycles. But don't feel so bad. One day you'll die, and when you go to hell, at least it'll be better than this place. 
It's it's got some great lines. You know what I never got in the like uh, Superman, the newer Superman movie. Yeah. Like the solo one, when they're like, "Hey Zod, you're a bad boy. We're gonna put you in prison." Yeah. They just they freeze them, right? They they're, they they're not even like conscious. Yeah. I don't think. No, I hear you. What's the point of that? Why don't they just um? Why don't they just kill them? You know what I mean? Like why? Whenever they like, I thought that in in the first Fantastic Four movie too, they like. It frees Doctor Doom in like cement, and then they put him in a shipping container, and then they put the shipping container under a whole bunch of other shipping containers. Are you stupid? Why don't you just like cut his head off? Um, well, because he's got special. Well, he, he wasn't That's wearing his suit. They got him out of the suit. I think. <laughs> yeah, but his mom is like a witch that sold her soul to the devil, dude. You don't mess with that. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Oh, yeah. Sh yeah. I mean, he's like, it's. that's why I'm excited about. I know people are like, oh, Disney owns everything. But at the same time, they will probably actually make a decent Fantastic Four movie. Um, oh, I, dude, I hear Doom you. Is like, he's, he's a dope freaking villain. He's one of the, the few that, that Marvel has. I uh, I also think Disney should not own everything, but I was pretty happy they owned Pixar when Soul came out and was just available on Disney Plus. Oh, you've got the oh yeah, I guess you've been watching the Mandalorian. Watch the Mandalorian. Mm. Um, you want me just to go yeah ahead and yeah. Okay. I gotta watch that. I've heard. Uh, I mean, everybody was good. seems to love it. And it was also uh, beyond just being good. It was probably like the most for adults movie Pixar has made in a long time. Kids could enjoy it, obviously. They here, I'll just gamble. If yeah, you do your money. thing. They, you know, they they know who who's printing the paychecks, right? But it's it's very like you know, as an adult, you don't have to be like, yeah, it was good for a kids movie. Like it's just a it's just a good movie. I respect that. You know, things that can work on multiple levels. Yeah, like there's a, he shoots a guy in the head. There's a lot of violence. He kicks a dude onto a pit with some spikes at the bottom. Wait, Soul or yeah. The Mandalorian? No, Soul. Oh, well, wait, were we talking about Soul? I thought we were talking about I don't. About... I don't know, but then as soon as you start talking... They kick a dude on spikes? Yeah, and... but it's it's all animated, you know? I wow, need you to get... That... Oh, maybe I don't need you to get this, actually. Hold on. What do you need? No, no, it's all good. It's all good. You, you can take this compass, though, if you don't have one. Oh, I do not. All right. Fuck. This is a pretty good casino, man. Yo, good job. Thank you, thank you. Um, did you you sack Monty for for HP? Yes. Okay. I figured since you you got oh, the oh yeah by by all means. Nick Apollo. Could use some bombs, man. I'm not worried about this turkey. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we only got the one bomb. Yeah. And you got the hedge, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, okay. Alright, that creates all you. Oh, hey, there we go. We just have to, we have to walk through <laughs> every bomb usage. We have to get, uh, congressional approval. We need a permit. And oh. the permit needs to get signed by... It's like, pr harder than getting a, getting your passport. Dude. You know? It's like, I hate that. It's like... Ooh. I actually had a question. Uh, we're planning on doing a lot of traveling uh, really soon. <laughs> but, so I was wondering, like, if you, uh, when it, how does a baby get a passport? Cause like, Dude. like I had to go through, I don't know if it was like an interview. I guess I had to go through an interview for my Nexus or whatever. But yeah, like- she doesn't even know how to talk yet. Yeah, so she can't incriminate herself. <laughs> I don't know, isn't it just like, they're not gonna charge you 120 bucks or whatever it is for, uh, right? I don't know, man. Like you don't I'm, even need a ticket for a baby on a plane. They just sit on your lap. I think maybe you do. I, I don't think know. you might need a ticket. Well, back in he my did, day, he did it. Isn't that wild? People just used to like sit their babies on their laps in the front seat. Dude, it is crazy to think about. I've been thinking about that a lot. Anytime we have to put uh, the baby in the car seat, I'm always like, oh my god. People used to just be like, just like buckle them, or not even buckle them in, just like put a, uh, just put them in the back. Because they're like, ah, seatbelts, those kill more people than they save. 
Do you? How, how do you kill the fish here? Do you use Excalibur? Or I, mean, I guess I a gun. I don't normally. Bad. If you want to kill it. The only reason I would think to kill it is so that we could uh, quintuple the present or whatever. Ooh, I mean, I do have a shotgun as well. I, if you if you're comfortable doing it, please do. I'll try it. Just gotta. It's the little fish. But like, so yeah. Kate and I have Nexus, which is like TSA pre-check. Mm -hmm. Um, the baby awesome. obviously can't get Nexus. So like, do we just put the baby on like the belt and then we go through the Nexus line, or like what what happens? Like, does the baby go through the scanner? No, you could. <laughs> you, somebody would sue. They'd be like, you know. Hey, they found the, they found the drugs. No, that's just, that's not a good joke. They'd be like, my baby, radiation. Oh no. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. It. Here you go. All right. All right. You get two. I get two. Okay. I've drafted my pick. Okay. Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, <laughs> tough luck, tough luck. Go for it, go for it. What'd you get? Oh, <laughs> that is pretty bad. Oh, oh, baby, glasses. Oh, well, Bikes do you have... Right. Yeah, you got them, right? That was... Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll take the, was... the shotgun, though. Yeah, 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 go for it. If it's... Uh, do you know where you put it? Uh, I think it might be in the water. Something in the water? On the... By the camera. Maybe. Nope. Oh, I, I think I see it. Yes. That sucked pretty bad. Yeah, this, this is not, <laughs> this is not good. All right, let's 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 do no. it. So I guess we probably won't be doing um, the uh, survival play here, right? We'll, but I can... Oh, but if I die, you'll lose the... Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, we don't even... Have, like, if we combined our bombs, it wouldn't be enough but i guess because we will lose the kapala if i die she's not great if you die we'll lose the onk which does suck but you, you will oh you know what i i can rather... go through the door super quick yeah as long and you do have a cape so it's a bit safer yeah but as long as you're i'd rather lose the onk than lose the kapala i i actually agree So if, if you find where you're supposed to go in, and then we just communicate well. Yeah. Okay. I'm down with it. Which means I should, uh... I think you gotta go in here, yeah. Uh, that means you should probably hold the sword then. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I'll bring the, I'll bring the shoddy. Oh, I'm, I shouldn't even be able to hold this thing. No, you only need it to, <laughs> the thing to pull it out. It's, it's oh, Mjolnir. Okay, hold on. I gotta. I'm just. Yep. Just, just get comfy. Chillin', just chilling. Okay. Is there any way you can see the door in advance? Um, I'm looking. Cause don't do it yet. I'm just gonna uh, make sure this poison guy is cleared out. Oh, it's too bad. There's a canopy here too. Not yet, not yet. Just like, can you see with the compass or or not? I guess I have no, a compass no as well, compass so I... doesn't show. If I had one more, <laughs> I think you're probably bomb... gonna get. I think you're probably gonna die, but I'll try. <laughs> no, hey, no, I, I'm fully. I uh, yeah, just whenever you're yeah, ready. Yeah, I'm good now. I'm good. Alright. I'm gonna I'm um... gonna do my best, but if it's not within the field of view that I can see right now, then. You know, obviously try to survive as best as you yeah. can. Like if there's a, right. if you can get on Ready, the underhang. Yeah, set. Let's, let's do it. Go. Don't see it, don't see it, don't see it. I see it! Oh, oh it's too late. Wait, wait, don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay, okay. Cause I'm in the, the onk animation, so. I think I get sucked back up to the top too, so it's okay. No, no, yeah. I, I do not get sucked. Okay, I'll just leave I'm then. good, I'm good to go. Yeah. Okay. We were we were close. Yeah, I should have. If I had more than the one bomb, I I, I could have um, dug out an area for the lava to sit in, and I probably actually could have survived. But I'll go up. I don't mind, especially because I got more HP. Okay. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> Hold on, because there is a there's an exploding creature on my side. Do you want me to hit him with a rock? Nah, nah. Check this out. I'll hit him with a rock. <laughs> Here, I'll get. I'll put Monty in. Thank you, and I will go up. Did we get the seven bombs? We're doing a little better. We have enough to win. I agree. I, I couldn't agree more. We don't really need any for Neo Babylon. I mean, technically you want some, but it helps don't, for sure. You, yeah, you don't need them. And then um, doing the 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 what you call it sun challenge super easy. <laughs> I, I will watch you do it properly. A simple servant of wood marked by the onk. Simple, simple wood, wood onk. onk. So mostly like on the sun challenge, I've just been trying to, uh, I like, I'm just good now is, yeah. is the way that I've been doing it. So you just take Excalibur with you and then uh, I'm gonna blow this up and farm this guy for some HP. Yeah, yeah, do what you gotta do. I don't do wet fur though. I'm not one of those guys. Uh, yeah. I mean, we. Uh, I mean, we both have spike shoes and compass. I guess we, we could get some extra ropes, but even that is not worth the bombs to. To get them. Um. Yeah. No. I the sun challenge. Oh. Like, if you can go. You should sack my uh, too. Oh yeah. I, I can use a rope if you want. Why not? I. Oh. Uh, yeah. That'll work. <laughs> that'll work. Hoggy. All right. Um, I just go like depending if you if the door opens and then you're on the left side or the right side. I just go top left corner, top right, and okay, then yeah. you're gonna have to like hit, like whip an enemy on the way usually, and then uh, just sticky bomb the top left or top right dispenser, and then I just hang from a rope, and that's it. Jeez. And if you don't have paste, you just place two bombs right under the dispenser area. And the one bomb will like push the other one up a little bit and blow it up. Mm -hmm. okay. I just stand in the bottom left corner and then run at enemies and swing my sword really fast. I mean, if it works, it that's you a, know it's a good it's a good way to farm blood at least. If that, you have the Kabbalah. it's true. I, I tend to uh, barely survive, but. I am. Do we need to do anything else here? I don't think so. I'm just kind of farming up some, some okay. HP. I'm I'm ready whenever you are, my good sir. Thank God that didn't drop on you. I, I'm uh, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just gonna leave. You before. know what? I think that's very sensible. You didn't want the <laughs> idol. You, you weren't interested in the idol. <laughs> I saw it, but you know, at this point, we don't. I mean, we'll be lucky to get a shop in here. It is true. Um. It's a, don't get me wrong, it's a little hot. But I do, I have, if, if you have problems with Neil Babylon, I have a foolproof piece of advice for you. Mm -hmm. YOLO. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. YOLO does work pretty well in this. Like, I, I'm pretty much at the exit. I'm just gonna farm a little bit of blood off of Monty and then I can I can get us down there. Yeah, do, do no, what you no gotta problem. do. No problem. Just one at a time. Just one at a time. Here. Ooh. Ooh, careful, oh, no, careful. no. <laughs> Ooh. Do you need me to chuck a rock? Nah, I'm all good. Look at that. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll handle this. I need to. I need to get over it. It's a simple wood onk. All right. But a simple wood onk. A smiling I'll... wood onk. Wait, smiling or simple? No, it's simple. But I was, I was just one off. Samsonite. Samson's I got crushed on the. <laughs> For real? Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Careful. Hopefully, my stuff. <laughs> I, I think I got crushed on the side, so I think my stuff will still be there. The right side or left side? Um, I think it was like left, left down. All right, and it's. It was simple. literally right below. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's there. Okay, okay. but I want to see. Yeah, so, hello, it's me. 
I, I, yeah, it was like around. Maybe my stuff got crushed. No, no, let's go. Look at that. That's huge. Even got the Kapala. That's big. That's big. That's huge. Okay. All right, simple wood on right there. <laughs> 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 I honestly I do that all the time. I, I expect it to be like deeper in. <laughs> yeah. And I just, it's all I right. kinda look everywhere around it but not at ghost, it. Ghost ghost is very valuable right now. Oh yeah. Dude, we've had so many altars. It's been altar round. rich, there's no doubt about that. So I'm starting to think the more you sack, the more altars Dude, you get. Like it, I've long been a proponent of that exact theory. No! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I, I gotta run some ads. That's, yeah, yeah, do That's thing, so do good, thing. though, to, that, that we both died on the same. I need to reflect on what just happened. Because, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, the, the, the spark trap's gonna go. I better just go for it. Dude, in the... Oh, because I felt so bad that I died. Oh, then no. when you died, I was like... It's weird to say, like, I would have rather we won, but I was also like, if you had to go, that's that's the way to do it. I feel bad because it's like, you know, as long as one of us survives, you know, so be it. But, oh, man, I, I shouldn't have died there. That is, I, well, I hear you. I shouldn't have died there either. The, the Ushabti was right there. That said, I mean, we didn't really have a lot of bombs. It wasn't very fair. Yeah, we just, you know. It's like slasher's keep. Sometimes you gotta deliberately lose a run to make the next run better. Um, have you yeah, have you beaten I, you beat a slasher's keep run, right? Yeah, I'm on like new game plus plus or plus plus plus. What's that like? Honestly, like the thing is, the game it's hardest. Throw, throw the first like throw when me. you start, and then um, it just gets it gets easy. Is I don't it, want to say easy because there's still like if you're not paying attention to your like a lot of runs I'd get really strong. Yeah, um, of course. But I wouldn't pay attention to my armor or anything like that, so I'd end up getting one shot even though I could one shot pretty much everything myself. So I started focusing on that a little bit more. It's like I feel like I will return to it. You should. Like, like it's with, a good with, with the new it's yeah, a yeah, good yeah, game. I know what's up. With with the new stream schedule, I think I will I will probably do some segments of Slasher's Keep. Yeah, I think it's got like a lot of potential. I just would love it if, um, Damien. Yeah. Removed platforming. Oh yeah, I heard in the I never got that far, but in the later levels, like platforming is a uh, is a thing. It's fine. Also, if you want to. Feel that? Yeah, the problem is like we need the we need the jetpack to get the key up to the next floor, right? So it's like so whole here, here here's what I'm thinking, okay? Check this out. You're I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna throw a bomb down right here. Just to simplify okay. the situation. And then I don't I don't mind stealing. Oh what the Did it bl it blew up one of his uh Did it blow up a wooden tile? It must have blown up a wooden tile. Oh. I I apologize. No, I mean I didn't think that's why I was standing right there. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I thought it was far enough away. Oh well, oh well. I don't see how we could lose this one now that we're back. No, this is this is fine. We that was this a pretty back. bad one. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the platforming is just like, it doesn't, to me, doesn't really serve. It's kind of like, um, you know, Gunfire Reborn. Oh yeah. There's like the parkour. It's kind of like that. You're just like, I'd just rather it not be in it because it's not fun. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, if they could also like, oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, use a rope. Use a rope. Get, get if they could. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This, this. Right, no, no. Nah, okay. okay, hold on. Oh no, okay. One HP down. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. There's something um, with Spelunky where like, if you're on like a long run and then you lose it. You're gonna play worse for a while afterwards. In my limited experience, at least. I'm 100% with you. Especially if you, I have a jetpack. It's like you got a phantom jetpack syndrome. Oh, I, I hear that. I mean, I had a run today. I switched from a hover pack to a jetpack, and then my brain was just like, I don't know what the heck's going on at all. 
I'm, I'm double tapping when I should be single tapping. I'm. It's just a, it's just a mess. Yeah, I still can't even just really use jetpacks effectively. Like if I'm, if I have plenty of time, they're good. Here's a, this is a, a, a question for you. Is let's say it's on the black market, and you have infinite money. You have, you've got nothing on your back at the present moment. I will buy a hover pack if that's the only option. Hold on, I'm just gonna break this so we can go. Would you ra the shop has jetpack and cape? Which one do you buy? I would actually. Uh, it depends. If I had if I had climbing gloves, I would probably actually buy the cape. But if I'm Sans. Skeleton. Sans cape, then um. What the heck? Then I probably would. Or sorry, uh, without climbing gloves, I would probably buy the hover pack. I like, am... I've done okay. I've done okay with like I've gotten like decently far in the CO with the hover right, pack. Yeah. Um, and I certainly would rather have that than nothing. But right, but I was talking about a cape or a jetpack. Oh, caper jetpack? I thought yeah. you said okay. Oh, yeah, always jetpack. Oh, okay. Even though I know it gets me killed half the time because stupid spark traps, but spark yeah. traps. It must be over here, right? It's yeah, it's it's behind the shop. Oh, um, dude, I'll, I'll cook it. It's no problem. You sure? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got more bombs. Yeah, no, it's easy, man. Get ready for this. Oh, he's already doing it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. At least there was a reason for that. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sorry, predictors. Sorry, predictors. Okay. No, that no, you don't pay out for that. I in this casino we always pay out. You pay out once we get to the jungle. <laughs> this casino pays out at all times. Mm -hmm. I I respect all the betters who who go with yes all the time, no matter what. Dude, I was playing some Tarkov today, and people kept doing that, even though I was going into runs with nothing but a pistol. <laughs> Dude, there's like an honest. I have an honest question about Tarkov. Does it take you five minutes to queue for every map, including factory? Um, yeah, today, today was probably averaging three to five minutes. Dude, what the heck? Like, it's just busy. I mean, new wipes are always kind of like that. So many people are watching it. So many people are playing it. And like, yeah. Although that said, actual server performance is pretty good. Um, except for I, the game, game like crashed once for me it's not that bad by tarkov standards yeah yeah so you know it's fine didn't run into any cheaters i really feel like like i totally get the appeal of tarkov because i was temporarily in the psychosis myself however i feel like it would be so much easier to play more of it if the cues were just not five to fifteen minutes long um that's, yeah, that's like the only should, you know, thing that bothers me right now. You know what they should do? What's that? While you're queuing, um, let you reorganize your stash. You know what? That would actually really help out. Or put in like a cool loading screen minigame <laughs> where you try to as assemble a gun from a series of attachments as fast as possible. Or just that, what's that pipe, pipe one with all the goo? Oh yeah, dude. Uh, I don't know what that game's called, but I know what you're talking about. Pipe, pipe dream? What was your favorite, uh, yeah, I think it is Pipe Dream. Oh, here, allow yeah. me. Uh, oh, okay. What was your favorite Windows 3.1 game? Windows 95, even. You got, uh, Chips Challenge. You got Pipe Dream. You got Jazz Ball. Jazz Ball. Yeah, okay, same. It, that's where, you know, you, you bring that up and, well, the chat will probably go, like, ooh, ooh, or something, but... That was one of the only games, because my mom never used computers or anything, but I would load up Jez Ball, and she'd just go. <laughs> just like mom daycare. Yeah. It was Dude, great. Jez it's a great Ball game, is though. a good game, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if, if the younger generation understands what Jez Ball is, but basically this is these like balls bounce around. And you gotta click your mouse to like draw a line, and it takes a second to draw the line. If the ball touches the line while it's draw, while the line is drawing, then you lose. But you gotta try to like get the balls trapped in the minimum amount of space possible. 
is a is a very classic game. Mm -hmm. Yo, you should do you should like let's play remake it. <laughs> oh, that that probably dude. I'm I'm actually I was thinking like I'm surprised there's no like jazz ball roguelite or something like that. Every other game has been roguelited, but jazz ball remains unperturbed. Oh yeah, and then the ball could get like faster and angry, and you gotta you gotta get like you know. Yeah. You gotta get fatter lines or something. Exactly. You, oh, I got an item. It makes my uh, lines draw 20% faster, but they also draw at a 35 degree angle. It's called so. Turl's Dreadlocks. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. Hello. I bought a Matic. Oh, you, you should uh, get Monty, I think. Just just one, one yeah. swing of the Matic's tail. Now it's my Matic. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, unless. Actually, you'll probably need to use it. That's what I was going to say, yeah. Uh, the Jetty, it may belong to you. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. It may belong to you at some point. If I, if I were a betting man, which as we've established, I'm not, um, I would uh, I would say it would probably belong to you at some point. Betting man? What you told me this morning, you went all in on GME. Oh, okay, so Malf is referencing the uh, stock ticker symbol for GameStop. And uh, you you wouldn't be privy to this joke unless you were in our Google Hangout, but I have told him, not that he was going to to begin with, but I have told him, don't buy GameStop. Nobody under the age of 50 thinks the company's going to exist uh, six months from now. But people keep posting screenshots of insane games. <laughs> YOLO! Bro. This dude, like, made, I saw one post, he made, like, I don't like, $400,000 off of it. Hey, don't he's, get me wrong. He's, just, more, he's holding on to more, it. More power and to you. It's it's wild. I always remember there was a guy in, like, uh, Corey's chat. When Bitcoin hit its previous all-time high, he was like, yeah, I own, like, a thousand Bitcoin. And I was, like, incredulous, what? right? I'm like, you, you're, like, a, you have $17 million in net worth in Bitcoin? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, you should sell that, like, immediately. And he's like, nah. I think it's going to go 10x from here. And I was like... What, what was it at the point? Do you remember? It's like 17,000. So, I mean, like, 17. It, it has gone up. Don't get me wrong. It's almost doubled, yeah. But also, like, like sell now, man. But I'm pretty sure this if the same guy is still holding, he's probably like, nah, dude. It's going 5x from here. <laughs> I, I... I don't know. Yeah, I... And I'm like, oh, you worth $34 million, dummy! Like, I've told you this story a couple times recently, but, like, back in 2013, when I, like, just moved back to Toronto and I heard about this Bitcoin stuff, I installed a miner on my laptop. Uh-oh. <laughs> but then I just never could get it working. Um, I'm good to go. Okay. Mm and so I was like, eh, whatever. But like, even I, I know, cause everybody's like, well, you gotta have like supercomputers these days. Yeah. But I'm, I'm wondering back in 2013, it's not uh, Yeah, like I'm pretty sure they were just solving like, you know, like X equals uh, seven plus three. And you're like, yeah, like I think uh, you could have, you could have farmed Bitcoin by hand back then. Like I probably could, <laughs> like Albert Einstein, <laughs> I probably could have gotten uh, a few Bitcoins. I think you should. Just should, oh, yeah, I, think yeah, you I got use bombs. A bomb. yeah. You got more bombs. That's right. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. A lot. That's why I'm like, I don't know, that, that cryptocurrency that uh, our mutual friend brought up, I'm like, yeah, like I'm not going to read like the white pages or whatever, but just, just show me what kind of spyware I have to install on my computer in order to be a billionaire, please. The, the ironic thing is, so, like, the way that it's supposed to work, apparently, is that, like, you basically use... It it borrows the un... Oh, Mouth, there's a little hover pack over here, your favorite item. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, see it. I can see it, yeah. yeah. Um. Um, so it, it borrows, like, your unused hard drive space after you install it on your computer. And then the amount of time that you let it borrow that space, or like the time times the amount of space it borrows, indicates the amount that you know you'll receive of chia or whatever it's called. And it's it's the guy who invented uh, BitTorrent, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, I'm like, are you sure this isn't just 
a trick to get us to install something on our computer that allows us to mine Bitcoin. <laughs> For you? They, they probably take a cut, yeah, I imagine. Right? That's how everything works these I, days. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure he's like, hey, check it out. I invented like a new cryptocurrency. They install this on your computer and then it just sends that dude some... Sends that dude the Bitcoin that you mine and then you're like, uh, you know, oh, but I've got three billion chias. That's a, I just don't get like anybody can have their own bit or uh, cryptocurrency now, but like why? It doesn't have value unless people put value on it, and nobody's gonna put value on like oh, unless you know, <laughs> unless you know. It just seems. Can you afford not to though? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you could. But here, here's the other thing, right? So, okay, so they're doing, they're using, like, Bitcoin, they're solving whatever problems. Yeah. Are they, like, things that have not been solved up to that point? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Why are they doing Bitcoin with math? They should do Bitcoin with, like, you know, more important questions. Like, what if they asked the Bitcoin miners, like, what's the meaning of life? Like, wouldn't they just figure that shit out in, like, a year? Dougie Adams already did yeah, but I, this, I'm t it's a meme. I'm talking about a real answer. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's got to be something they can... Dude, that would be a great Hollywood movie. If they were like, hey, the new cryptocurrency just requires you to solve this mathematical problem. So then, like, this guy got obsessed with it, and he's like, oh, it's worth, it's gonna be worth, like, a hundred trillion dollars if we come up with the answer. Then he gets the answer, and he submits it to, like, the blockchain. But then guess what, dummy? It's actually your credit card number. <laughs> it just... It was just a, a, a progress bar that we programmed to take six weeks to fill up to 100%, and then it sends us your, your credit card number. That could be a great movie. Who would play the lead role? Um, that seems like the kind of role that, like, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was born for to me. Mmm... He already I'm did the it. Hummingbird Project, which is kind of similar, so... And wasn't he Snowden? He was, he was Snowden. <laughs> Here, Malv, I gotta, I gotta play for you, alright? You're not gonna like it. I think you're gonna oh. love it. So, uh, so oh. make sure your hands are empty. And then... Wait, wait, wait. Did, did you get the sister? I did. Okay. Then come back up here. Uh-oh. If you can, I can carry you, of course. But I know you can. Okay, then you're gonna grab Monty. Oh, because there was an altar, right? Yeah, and then I'm gonna grab you. And then one of us, probably you because you have more bombs. Okay, first we're gonna deal with that guy. But then you're gonna use a bomb plus pace to, to sack Monty. I got it. I, I can get this guy. I got, oh, he's, he, maybe we don't need to get him. Look, look at that. <gasps> Monty! Okay, and then I'll take you. And then I'm not going to sack you. On purpose, anyway. Unless. Drop you right there. Look at that. Go for it. There you go. Dude, uh, we, we got two minutes left. There's a there's a few bodies here. What what if yeah. what if I drop you, you, you back you, up you here? You get the Kapala. Okay. okay. I, I don't have any ropes though. Oh so yeah. Like you, I just leave, yeah. Leave those guys down here. But yeah. we got to do something about the witch doctor as well. Why didn't you just do all that? Wait a minute. Now that, now that I think about it, why didn't I just bring Monty up there? Oh, because I needed, I wanted you to throw the bomb for pace. Yes. Okay. Okay, I put the bow by the exit. Okay, that's right. Uh, see, can't. Oh, ooh, another witch. Ooh, uh, ha, ha, ha. We got plenty of time. Th this is like for all the marvels. This could completely change the game for us. It would be like mining the first Bitcoin. Do you want me to sticky the witchy? No, I think I can. Get him, it's just gonna take one more jump. Oh, yeah, I should've, I, cause I got the spike shoes that could've popped him, but you got him. No problem. Dogecoin has real value. What about Ethereum or whatever, the other one? I feel like I, those are the three, or. People don't like when I talk about crypto cause I don't understand it. So both the evangelists and the haters uh, are united for the first time ever. And so I, I don't even want to get into it because I don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know. All I know is because, like, my brother, like, auctions his digital art off. And it's it's in Ethereum. Dig digital, digital fart? Yeah, digital fart. He does fart. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. 
Let's go. Ooh. And when you when you go into the the crypto side of wealth simple, it's just Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, what so, the heck, dude? I'm I, I'm trying to buy Papa John's pizza coin here, but you're not. You don't even sell pizza <laughs> coin, and I'm trying to take it seriously. Dude, the coin better be shaped like a pizza. Mm. Oh, of course. I always and I know it's like, it's it's. I don't mean to be rude to like the blockchain. But like I don't understand what makes the blockchain special, and you can't explain it to me because people have tried. But like I, I need to like I don't know, just have it exist. It's an audit for a while. trail, right? Yeah, but I'm like, oh, who cares? Just print it on paper or something. It's just, it's just all. Yeah, it is a silly name. It's like it's all these. Yeah, it's all the betting nerds are trying to make exactly. it complex. So what? Like, oh, hold on, I'll get this idol for us as well. But yeah, we do. Um, there is the the thingy is nearby, but yeah. I can't quite see it yet. Anyway, like. Whenever I see, and there's a lot of these, there's like startups that are like, hey, creators, wanna monetize your audience even more? And I'm like, yeah, obviously. And they're like, well, we're starting up a service that like, it uses the blockchain to pay out your most loyal viewers with uh, a cri special cryptocurrency that we create like for you. And I'm like, this seems like a fucking scam. <laughs> it seems like a, it seems like a, something is terribly wrong with this. I don't understand the, the business model at all. I'm out. Um, is it? Could it just be here? Like, it's top left. Oh, okay. <laughs> here, you know what? Check this out. Do you have it? Yeah, use a rope. Use a rope. I'll just like. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is beautiful. Teamwork. Let's go. Oh, um, <laughs> just. Do you trust me? Uh, it, wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Oh, that was, I had to jump yeah, off because I, I forgot say, when you go in the door, it just drops me, <laughs> and then I probably would have got spiked. I was like, "There's, there is no waiting there." <laughs> okay, don't, right, don't leave yet because the bow is back here. No, I got. Okay, I got the clover. Okay, and I got the idol. Let's go. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. Well, that, no, but that's like the thing is like. Don't I just don't know how other. Bitcoins can or cryptos can exist if they're all solving the same problem. There's no value in that Dude, I just want them to start printing Like minting not printing like what if they started making Physical Bitcoins that represented a certain amount of Bitcoin like maybe one Bitcoin could be one one hundredth of a, of a BTC and then Hear me out here. Maybe the government could like get behind it and be like we're gonna manage this situation in the future, so just to make sure that, like, it gets, uh, you know, just to make sure that it can't possibly collapse, and, like, maybe you could use it as a, both a, uh, a financial instrument as well as a store of value. Now we're talking, man. Mm. And then if they just, like, change the name to, like, what if, what if Justin Trudeau was, like, starting today, the official currency of Canada is Bitcoin? <laughs> But like, so what do you do with your existing wealth? You uh, gotta, it just well, gets converted? One Canadian dollar equals one Bitcoin. Oh, okay. That's nice. I support it. Oh, oh God, I lived. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> you don't even want to know how close that was to me dying. Oh. Wait, you got the you got the bow, right? I got the bow, yeah. If, if you okay. want to leave, you can leave. But you could, you could, okay, I'll, uh, you could yeah, buy everything there's... in there if you want. I'll just buy that. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying, because it would multiply everybody's wealth by 27,000. So they should really, like, Canada should get on it before another country takes this idea. Why don't we just, like, make not, like, the next, it's not like a cryptocurrency, but the, you know how, like, you got your normal money and then you got cryptocurrency. Why don't we yeah. just do the next? Yo! Thing? It's the block fence. It's not a blockchain anymore. It's the whole damn thing. Dude. It's it's an even better blockchain. Is Wilson on the other side saying <laughs> howdy neighbor? No, it's Elon. Oh, Elon. That's right. Dude, so it's weird because I was... My dad... I mean, we were talking and all that stuff. Like, I think there's a lot of people that don't know... Just like... Oh, you're good. That Elon is a meme lord? Yeah. Cause my dad was like, "Oh, uh, Elon, he's backing a new uh, cryptocurrency." I was like, "Yeah, he's just joking around." He, about they, yeah, coin. he's just bored. 
Yeah, but I don't think a lot of people actually know that Elon is basically like a five-year-old. Yeah. Pretty much. I, I can't disagree yeah. with that. You're, you're right. Here's the deal. <laughs> yeah, he's epic the master troll. Exactly. Good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Oh, ooh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. I'll try to see if I can get the child of the forest in here. But maybe that's why the Tesla stonk is so strong. Dude, honestly, like, I think it's a big part of it. People just don't know. They're like, this guy's just... He named his kid, like, X slash He slash must slash be semicolon. smart. It's like when you see see someone wearing glasses in, like, the 1980s. You're like, oh, they, they must be, like, some kind of computer hacker or something like that. Oh. He, he named his kid XAE Theta 12. Was that the Child of the Force, or do you need to go to the no, other No, she's door? in the right one, but, uh, you know, there's... Check this out. Check this out. Yeah, it's gonna fall right on his stupid head. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh! I'm good. We don't have a skeleton key, okay. Alright. Right. You know, I don't think there's... I mean, the key's in the other one, but there's only money in the far right side, so... Mm okay. I'm yeah. ready if you are. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get it. But I definitely think we should just make one. Because what if it goes, like, to the moon, right? Isn't that the... Yeah. Like, why don't... Here's the thing. We just make our own Bitcoin, all right? We promoted ourselves. <laughs> We've memed companies into existence. In Well, yeah. kind of. Um, sort of. And then... We'll just keep something realistic, like, like 25% for us. Each. No, 10%. Then people really commit. You can take the bombs, but then use the bombs to... Uh, to get okay. to Waddler, because I'm gonna be on on just one. Go for it. Go right, for you wanna it. do uh cause you got the jetty? I think it makes sense. It makes sense to me. You can drop that off. But then okay, here's here's a gamble for you, Chet. Here's a gamble for you. One bomb. I use my last bomb to get a crate. Will the crate contain more bombs? Oh, I could have used the bomb for you. Ah, it's okay. Will the crate contain more bombs? You ready? Hey, let's, let's go. go! All right, all right. Uh, give me your boomerang, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll yeah, take yeah. that. Thank you. And then whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> By the way, I can kind of uh, roll my R's now, but I, I have to cheat to do it. Because the baby... You just gotta... The baby's you know how to, doing. like, gargle, like, mouthwash, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm doing, but then Kate says that's not the way you do it. And I, I gotta admit, I I'm it. not good at it yet, but it, it goes like... <laughs> you gotta be I, I, like pretty pretty wet back there. That's, that's wrong. <laughs> this is how I do it. <laughs> See, that seems like just you're doing what I do, but better. Yeah. Which is I mean, I've been is, doing yeah, it. Yeah, you've been practicing many years. Yeah. <laughs> but like, if it actually comes to literally I rolling <laughs> an R, like I don't think that's how. Like, that's not, how, that's not how you. Yeah, how do you do it in in if you're speaking like Spanish? Raul. I, I can't say Raul. I can only say growl. I can roll all my letters with my throat back. <laughs> my girl. It's <laughs> crazy. How does he do it? Yeah, I don't think that's actually technically rolling hard. It's just gargling <laughs> without. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna do that on stream again. But okay. soon. I, I, I keep practicing because the baby can roll her R's. Which is really very <laughs> upsetting. Because I'm like, uh, I've been on the earth for, you know, 32 years and I can't do it. So When do you learn to snap your fingers? I still don't do it very well, honestly. But of, you can of, do it. of those things, I would say like I'm I'm very good at whistling. Um, oh, I see. I can't whistle. I'm, I'm a, I'm a world-class whistler. Um... I'm trying to think. I'm not a good snapper. What are the other skills? I'm I'm pretty good at like blowing a bubble with a uh, with a piece of chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Uh, tying a cherry stem with oh, your tongue. Oh, definitely not. No chance. I did it once. Mm. Oh, that was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. I can't whistle. Okay, Olmec is on level three. Oh, Poggy, take your time. No rush. 
Yeah, I could tie a cherry stem with my fingers if you gave me enough time. Mm. What about? Did you ever yo-yo? Oh, dude, I was I was a decent yo-yoer. What about the devil sticks? No, it wasn't that cool. Oh, really? I yeah, feel like those, those are... were like really popular in like 1996 when I was just like a little too young to have the disposable income to get into stuff like that. Yeah, we never had any, but I like, you know, whenever I go to, over to some of my friend's house, I'd be like, Yo, can I play with those? And they'd be like, yeah, and then you'd get on a dirt bike and like jump over a creek. And I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I want to do that. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a dirt bike either. Same. That, that was a big part of uh, my social circle growing up was uh, all my, <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but you know, all my like rural hillbilly neighbors make like custom dirt ramps for their dirt bikes and stuff like that. And then I would just come over and like watch them. <laughs> would, would never ride. I'd be like, oh heavens no, that seems dangerous. I'd just be like, wow, nice jump. Yeah, that's, I mean, like, I don't know. My dad used to do, well, not so much ATVs, but, um, like, snowmobiles and, and all that. But by the time I was born, he sold the boat. He didn't ride snowmobiles anymore. We were just talking about it the other day. There was, like, a wicked, I mean, this is, like, I don't know, before the ice storm of 98. Yeah. Which we both survived. We did. Um, <laughs> you got the shirt. But like, there was another storm like a couple decades prior, and he's like, "Yeah, we were." He was like jumping over phone lines in a snowmobile. <laughs> there was so much snow. And as a kid, I thought it was memeing, but apparently, it's like actually very true. Yeah, don't be silly. I'm just gonna send it. That's what it's like in Canada, parts of it at least. I always is one of the funniest stories I've ever heard. Is uh, when you worked at the convenience store and the. <laughs> guy that went to our high school came in and he used to buy like a slushy every day and then one day his mom got tired of spending like five bucks a day on slushies so she just bought him a slushy machine and then the next day he was back in the store because they weren't as good as the one that that you guys yeah sold. i at first i didn't know who you're talking about and i was like oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> it's a great but story. isn't it how that works right it's like you try to make your own big mac at home and you're like yeah. Even though a real Big Mac kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh, dude, I got stories about that. So we have a, a, a mutual friend we went to high school with who was the smartest kid in our high school. Mm -hmm. um, he had the Jason Biggs hair. Just so we're... Because there might have been two potential... Like, you might have been thinking that it was me, but it's not me. Um, and then uh, I remember, like, at his birthday party... I think I told this to you before, so I apologize, but it's still good. Um, no, it's at okay. his birthday party, like, when he would turn seven, like, everybody was getting... We, we went to McDonald's, and everybody in front of me ordered a Big Mac. So, like, I wanted to... Oh, oh. That's, that's you, baby. I wanted to seem cool, even though I'd never had a Big Mac before in my life. I was only, like, seven. And uh, I also was a very picky eater, but I was like, yeah, dude, I'll take a Big Mac. And then it came <laughs> out... And uh, I like bit into it and I was like, what the heck? There's like lettuce and like mayonnaise and stuff on this thing. And I was like, I can't eat it. And then his mom, who was like a little bit of a taskmaster, uh, is the same lady who tried to kick me out of her car when I was 12 because I said She's So High by Tal Bachman was uh, not a good song. Or rather, <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase. I said, I don't, I hate this song. And she said, well, you can walk the rest of the way home. And I had, I had to ask wrong. her, I had to be like, can you buy me, like, some some chicken McNuggets? She was unhappy, but she did do it, thankfully. What kind of adult does that to a kid? It's just, I'm, I'm what kind of adult is that into? Anybody. Yeah, yeah Tal like, Bachman, like, you, you want that uh, jetpack? Oh, sir, yes, Look sir. at that. Now we're cooking with peanut Dude, oil. Dude, we got enough bombs. I feel like a new man. Yeah, you got climbing gloves too. Yeah, you tell Although, me. Oh, your favorite item. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, actually, like we, because we used to get the the lunch orders every Friday, and they, there'd be four different ones, like one for every week in the month. So there'd be like a Pizza Hut order. That's awesome. Um, there'd be a McDonald's one. There was like one from the local sub place, and then. There's, I can't remember what the other one was, but um, you know, some of the kids would get Big Macs, and I was always like, 
yo, like, these guys are badass, right? But I was always afraid, so I just get two, like, um, two cheeseburgers, and then mm -hmm. I'd stack okay. them up, and I'd be like, look at me, I'm eating a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, I was like, lettuce on a burger? Are you? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You ready. I am also ready. Dude, it's so good. There's like a kid who went through. I mean, you're, you're kids, right? Like, I'm not trying to... Well, let me put it this way. I mean, if he's if he feels bad about it still, then he's the like a-hole. But um, there's this kid who thought he was like super cool in sixth grade, and he did eventually go to our high school. Um, mm -hmm. I, I won't say his name, but his last name was slang for your butt um plus the sex that he was um anyway he thought he was so cool yeah his name his name was tim ass man <laughs> anyway um he thought he was so cool and then we used to do pizza orders every like wednesday or something like that and i remember like one day the order got screwed up, so instead of pepperoni pizza, he had, like, all dressed, and he cried, and he cried, oh, and he no. cried, and I was like, this is the best day ever, because he was like, he's kind of a bully. And oh, yeah. Then, and then, uh, I was like, oh, who's the big man now? You're crying because your pizza's got little squares of green pepper on it. It's weird what, like, makes kids cry. It's crazy, man. It's You're like, it's not a big deal, just pick them, pick yeah, the peppers off. Just, like, eat them? Like, it's not... No big deal either way. Oh, dude. I got I got some great intel for you, Mal. Look at that. Found We're gonna clone the Kapala, dude. What do you mean? Cause check this out, alright? Oh you got I got Monty from this secret caveman <gasps> shop in here. Let's go. And, and then, then we can still have two uses left over. Dude, very you're a genius. Very oh thank you. Very, very true. It is weird though, like, I, I might- Oh, you have a jetpack now, that's right. Yep. Uh, it is weird now, looking back though, and you're like... I don't want to say, like, no 12-year-old kid can be a bully, but you're like, man, I wonder what his home life was like. Because now, like, yeah. if some 12-year-old kid was like, hey, bald guy, I'd be like, uh, hey, uh, go to school. I like, it wouldn't even sit in your brain for, like, more than two seconds. Mm-hmm. I would, yeah, I'd probably... Unless they, suplex. unless they were in chat, <laughs> and then, then it would bother me all night. Like, I remember, wow. uh, I, it was like, probably like two weeks ago, I was playing Rocket League, and somebody in chat was like, hey, NL, why are you so much worse now? And I was like, wow, you fucking got me, dude. Oh, we need Excalibur. I need to- I took, it's by your Matic. You're gonna, you're gonna no. hold the clone gun? Well, we'll, we'll bring both. I okay, figured. okay. We'll sort it out. He was like, why are you so much worse now? And then, I was like, I was like, this so rude, right? And then I thought about it for like a, a whole night, and then I realized that he was just talking about Rocket League. Oh, you thought he meant like just worse? Yeah, I thought as he like was, a human. I thought he was like you're like a worse like content creator now. <laughs> well, did he ever clarify? Maybe that's actually what. No, he meant. I perma banned him, of course. But oh, um, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I didn't. I just stewed in it. But. Um, how should we do the sacrifice on this level? Like, not not that sacrifice, uh, but the, you know, the getting the, you know, opening the door. Um, I don't mind going. But you where is the door? I shouldn't I go? It's up to you. I feel like I should go so we don't lose your jetpack, because then I would have to like carry it and Excalibur. Yeah. Okay. So I think I should sacrifice myself. And but then, you got climbing gloves. You might not even need to like, you know. Oh, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's top, it's top left. I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah, don't don't go through the door though, because I got my stuff up at the top. We'll just we'll just you, we'll play this one. Uh, I mean, I can I can look for. No 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 no. I, this this is good. This is this is not is not only good. It's fine. But what you can do, like bomb underneath the platform and then rope up, and like it might buy you enough time. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just uh. I'm worried that the overcomplication. Okay, you know, do what. So you want me to just uh, let you kill yourself? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, I have the time to get over here. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not losing it. All I'm losing is the onk. It's not that big a deal. I'm on five. Yeah, you screen. left your jetpack at the. Yeah, top right exactly. Now. Okay. No big deal. Yeah. 
Dude, yeah, well, I had a similar situation in like public school. Like this one kid on my bus, like he would always like try to bully and stuff. And then like in seventh grade, he was like he was a year ahead or whatever, so I would have been in sixth grade. But he was moving away. And he got like all teary eyed. He's like, he's like, man, here's my phone number. You oh, know, no. you should call me. <laughs> um, and stuff is like, yo, like, you know, I'm going to miss you. And I'm like, I, like, I didn't say, I just kind of just like, I was like, all right, cool, whatever, brother. And he like tried to hug me. And I'm just oh. like, are you, like, you were, uh, you're a jackass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was really weird. You're good to go. You ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Pocky. Yeah, he might have had a crush <gasps> on you. I got point. It's okay. I, I, I'll oh, get uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just bring Monty to the exit. Yeah. No big deal. You got 10 HP. Uh, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. kill him pretty quick, but I don't think there's any reason to fret. No, 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 no. Let's be, let's be good. I'm a little worried about all the poison coming up on the sides, but oh my god, there's so much poison. Okay, there's Monty. There's Monty. Put him in a body bag. Put is that a, a bag. is that a karate kid? I I believe it is. Cracked clay yeah, bag. Yeah, Johnny, put him in a body bag. Yeah, that's okay. Wait, wait. I didn't get the clone gun yet. No, no problem. Yeah, don't leave all farm little blood off of this guy. Okay. And if you got Monty, I'm good. Yep. Okay. Dude. <clears throat> Go. Okay. Look at that. You only lost one HP. Easy. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> cooking bodies. Wow. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that last one was me. I apologize. Oh, that's all good. Uh, yeah, this one's... Watch out. Watch out. I'm just chilling. I'm not, I'm not going to break this UFO. It's too much. Uh, do we know where... Oh, there's a crate right there. I will probably try to deposit at Waddler. Yeah, same with the with the clone gun. Oh, we, yeah, what we do still you got two uses clone, out of it, man. so... Like, um... We could... If, if we beat the Sun Challenge, we could clone that sweet bag you get. I don't know That's if we need... Plan. I don't know if we need 70 bombs, but... <laughs> we do. We do. Um, can you slice and dice the guy guarding the door? Oh, dude. My, it would be my honor. I just don't like dropping the clone gun in here because it flip and it's slide. Icy, yeah. And then right. Waddler is just up and to the right, probably right around that UFO, so I'll put a bomb. Probably I'll put a bomb on top of him. Which seems a little scary. I'm going to get away from the bodies. Oh. oh, I was a little, a little spooked there. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, dude, this is pretty sweet. Are you gonna do uh, wet fur? Um, we don't have a clone gun. Do you wanna? Or sorry, not a clone gun. I was like, what is this guy talking about? A compass. Um, nah. I mean, it's up to you. I, I probably wouldn't, but. Uh, but if, if you're comfortable in there, there, then by all means. I got the clover. I don't. Actually, wait. I got spike shoes. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spike shoes and a jetpack. There. More spike shoes. Ropes. Got Ooh, spike shoes too. Scary. Oh, <laughs> hey, the, your favorite item is back here. Climbing gloves? No. Oh, is your favorite item climbing gloves? No, it's not. Oh, it's okay. Because I was like, oh, there was a secret shop with some climbing gloves, and I kind of thought you didn't like them. No. I mean, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't mind them. But... All right, I got a compass. And let me just see, is there another crate? No. All right, I'm, I'm good to go. All right, I can get to the exit. Yeah, do it. Probably, I don't know. Think about it. Kind of sucks down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm at the exit. I'm just gonna farm up uh, a little blood. Why does this feel so much like famous last words? If you want climbing gloves, there's a shop at the bottom with them. Or maybe I could just buy them and carry them and then drop them for you. 
Um, nope. I mean, I'm I'm almost down well, there. Well, so. you know, you can just buy them. I, I well, you can just pick them up. I paid for them. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Yeah. Send. I'm ready, Freddy. Dude, double Kapala. Guaranteed win. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. 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 It's still All going, right. huh? <laughs> so I don't like that. Right there. Just a, just a long, you, are you, long trip, huh? I'm gonna use a bomb to make. Uh, yeah, be careful. Okay. This is, you, you do what you feel like you gotta do. I'm gonna put that bomb there. By the way, I feel bad. Someone raided. Um, they didn't say their name. They just said Pog over and over. I don't mean to uh, to ignore the raid or be flippant. Do, who who was the raid? It was um. Shroud, probably. Shroud, dude, Poggy. Thanks, Shroud. It was Twiggle Soft. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Twiggle. Twiggle. I know Twiggle. Even better than Shroud, honestly, because they're probably good at games. <laughs> I mean, he's he's like one of the the best at Spelunky. Really? Oh yes. Oh well, yes. And, I mean, if <laughs> very we, much so. If we could teach them a thing or two, then what does that say about us? I'm good to go. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Be careful with okay. that. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I don't like the sounds of the alien. It is a... Oh, it's right Cracked here. clay bat. Okay. I will... Get it? He's gone. And then when I die first... <laughs> Clay bat. Cracked Something clay. Wait. Cracked clay Cracked. bat. Cracked clay bat. Okay. Simple clay bat. Okay. Watch that elevator. Man, it sucks over there. <laughs> Cracked clay eye. Cracked clay vortex. Dude, this scares. I love llama suit, dude. It's just, it's just the funniest sound in this whole game is when he dies. Yeah, but I still prefer Uba. What is what is Uba? When you go in the pleasure palace and one of the sisters is on the left, and whenever you greet her, she goes Uba. Oh. It just always makes me feel good, um, because a lot of times the I'm really salty at the run by that point. Mm, so that makes sense. And then you're like, now I feel good, Uba. Uba, yeah. This is, this is an unnecessary amount of elevators and... Yeah, I don't know. That's like my least favorite hazard in the game right now. Yeah, man. All right, I'm good to go. Okay, you got, you got cracked clay bat. Cracked clay bat, yep. Okay, I have ec entered the door. Hey, okay. It'll, it'll, it's not that I doubted you, it's just that it'll never not I always double scare check. me, yeah. I, it, sometimes I'll triple check, so. I'm gonna go um, inside of the Pleasure Palace. Yeah, yeah. I don't I know if you can uh, go in, cause uh... I, no, I, I tested it out, or I think we did, but yeah, I could, but you can take all the food. Okay. I have taken all of the food. Okay, and go, go to the left in Uba. <laughs> okay, I'll go to the left in Uba. Okay, just, just silence. Oh, I think I already I used my Uba. That's okay. I just want to know that you did. That's all. What's, what's going on with the altar down here? Like it's just, it's just like you just get an altar. There's no like secret. Oh, there's always an altar. Yeah, you could bring Monty in if you okay. want, but I Yo, usually Sa don't. Sack Killeen, Chilin. Sorry, Sack Chilin. Uh, I call him Krillin, but you know. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm gonna just like, if it's okay with you, I'm just gonna stay here. Dude, I'll, I, I can finish this off. It's easy. Yeah, man. Probably the easiest thing I'll ever do in all likelihood. Now, what do you think of Hoffman going to the Blues? Oh, I didn't see. Yeah, he's on a professional tryout um, until they put Tarasenko on the oh, LTIR. Uh, are you holding the vase? I'm holding Krillin. All yeah. right, I will leave. All right, now you gotta hold me while you do this. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to. I guess you could just go, but 
Where's the fun in that? Dunkety, right. dunkety, dunkety, dunkety. No pressure. No pressure. It's just normal. Just normal Spelunky too. Nothing weird about it. Clean. Clean. Clean lot. Clean. Still clean. Still clean. I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you want to bring them up here and whip them. Apparently, if... If you go oh, through yeah, if and I, I go, just chill. Keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just chill here. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I almost ruined the whole. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's that the, the spaceship doesn't like come through the center of the screen, does it? <laughs> and then no, 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 no. All right, all right. I guess the the they're really taking that loss to the Canucks hard. They had to sign uh, Matt Hoffman, professional BMX biker. Matt Hoffman. Dude, did you know the new uh, NHL season it starts in like a like two weeks now? Is it January is it January seventh or like sixteenth? I think it's the thirteenth. Thirteenth, dude, that's wild. Yeah. Fifty. I think fifty-six games ain't gonna be bad. No, we, uh, go ahead, go ahead. We'll probably forget about it being a short season by the time it gets started. Just, just happy to have some kind of sports. Oh. It's Absolutely. about time, I mean. I'm not giving them my vaccine though. I'll I'll give I, I will give up my vaccine, but only if it goes to either Pedersen or Hughes. That's the only the only two it's, people. It's too late. They already they, they said it's legal for private companies to do it. Oh really? Yeah, man. Dude, that's we should buy one. Oh, and then we'll we'll scalp we'll scalp them. We dude, we could do a, a giveaway to chat. We could buy like ten doses of the vaccine, and then <sighs> hey, sub tier only. Three subs. Yeah, tier, tier three, three subs, subs get them. <laughs> um, so okay, the thing is here. Um, yeah, you need me to hold something. I mean, I brought the clone gun out, and then um, do you want me just to do it? Do by all means, yeah. And then if you want to clone the. Yeah, I'll, the, I'll, the I'll not pick up the thing and then... Uh... And I'll just hold the bow. All right. See you on well, the other side, bro. I don't want to clone Killeen, chat, because he's not good. I'd rather get 30 bombs than this guy. He's stinky. He stinks. And I don't like him. I forgot. You're, <laughs> there's all sorts of skeletons out here. <laughs> all right. Um, I am just, I'm good. I'm just waiting. Mm, no problem. Yeah, the freaking vampire's just floating right under me. He's like, how do I get up there? <laughs> All right. Um, I'll bring Excalibur back out if you want it. But no, I gotta hold the don't... bow, I think so. Okay. Don't come in yet. Do not go in there. <laughs> yeah, gotta jump over the th thing. All right. Okay, we don't have a ton of time either. Oh, you know what? You you do your cloning and then I yeah. will just speed yeah, up. Yeah, I'll clone the it exit. and then I'll Okay. I t I'm taking there. You can uh you can go in now. I can't leave just yet. I got to I still got to get the bag. No, no, I mean you you were supposed to get the bag. Go 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 in the room. Go in the room. Okay. Okay. Don't don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the arrow, the arrow. Where's the arrow? I got the arrow. I got dude, it. I got it. I got it. I got, got it. the arrow. I mean, if, if you're set, I think you can go. Do you want Krillin, though? Ah, I don't really care. Could take him or okay, leave him. I'm going. He's trash. All right. Do you, you want the bow or you want? No, I mean, do by all means. I'm I'm happy because you probably need me to like whip open the. Yeah, you do. This. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you you do the whipping. Watch that arrow. Oh Oof. yeah, that would have been that would have been. Joe be like the nastiest. Dude, this is good stuff. My man's got 63 bombs. <laughs> yeah, I, if we hadn't have cloned the Kapala, I could have given you an extra one. And no, it's still, like, I mean, I think it's, this is extremely good. You ready? Okay. Yep. I think we gotta go this to way. Right? Yeah, yeah, I got the compass. There so. we go. Alright. And we're good. Dude. Alright. 
Well, at least the, uh, the, like, exit, exit race, the next level, shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, double jetpack. Double jetty. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna... Okay, now we're good. All right. Oh, I should... Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, okay, that's fine. As long, as long as you feel comfortable getting the bow out of there, by all means. Oh yeah. It kind of sucks up here. Cause there's like skulls falling down. Just give him a yeah. sec here. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this. Yeah. Out of the way. And then, oh my god. If you can get rid of the skulls. Take your time. There's no, there's no rush. We have plenty of time. Okay. I will get rid of the skulls. You just whip them, or you bomb? Yeah, you can kind of float and whip them, or if you just want to use a bomb, just do that. There you go. They have been handled. Thank you. I'm just going to wait one more second. There we go. I mean, there is an alter in Monty if you want to I, I think it was 16. Like, yeah. Anything that kills uh, me is going to be instant. I'm going to use a bomb here. Works for me. Oh, <laughs> oh we're good. Shall Are you we? ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. Go for it. Go for it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, there's the little. Uh oh. There's uh. more. Whatever. The more I get hit, the more blood I make. I got those guys. One second here. No, no concern. Okay. 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 Oh man, there's too many tubes on this one. Uh, dude, I like it though. I, yeah, I like tubes, I guess it but slows I don't. You down. Cause they got us going like pretty vertical. I want or horizontal. Yeah, I want to go vertical. Yeah. All right. Whip that. Oh, you. We'll have to whip it. It's gonna close. No problem. No. All right. Oh. I'm. Uh, oh, there's a dangly ball. I'm gonna bomb it. Okay, I am safe. And I don't see any arrows. There is a, there's a, a, an orange frog over there. There we go. Scared me. All right. Um, I mean, I'll stand on right side. You stand on left or mm, okay. it doesn't really matter. I'm just placing ropes literally everywhere so that if you fall, maybe you can grab one on the way. I don't think it's going to be necessary, but on the other He's hand... He's definitely um, aggro on you. Oh, yeah. So if you... Just do whatever, but just tell me what you need me to do. I'm, I'm, I've been dropping some bombs on him. All right. No rush. Take your time. Watch the fireballs. Okay. The right one definitely got hurt. Right one's about to die, I think. Yeah, just left, left. Okay. Just chilling. Still just chilling. Just give it a second. Yeah. Got him twice. Oh, baby. Oh, he's down. He's down? You got to do the honors. You did all the work. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Bo's right up here. I would I would love to. Oh, mama. Oh, now right. we're talking. <laughs> Any last words? Say cheese, my <laughs> frere. Dude, let's go. That's pretty sick. Right on. Plus, yeah, it looked like I shot myself in the eye because <gasps> of the way egg cam works. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know like what's going on here. So, Do you like, want me to like give some pointers? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> so there's three of these little blue orbs. Okay. Don't like run into them because you'll. I mean, they don't hurt you, but you'll they'll bounce you off. Mm, um, okay. and you know, they might bop you into spikes or something. And, uh, when you destroy the third one, that's when the jelly at the, that's guarding the door oh. chases you. So it's usually good. Like I like to destroy the first one or two that I see. Um, the only other thing is sometimes the environment will destroy one. So you might think you have a third one. Ah, like, I see. It's already dead. Uh, dead so the, uh. So the, 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 the jelly will aggro. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. Um, 
So there's, that's two. So oh, now okay. we gotta find the third one, but at this point it's also usually good to find the door. I think th there was a large jelly up on the right side. I don't um, know, I don't know if it's as big as it needs to it'll be. be like a couple tiles. I mean, it, it, you'll, you'll, you'll know when you see it. Like, yeah, it's this thing with the tail, right? Wait, where are you? I'm yes. Okay, okay. So they also kind of like, they'll charge at you in a circular motion. Here, I'm going to bomb here. So we don't know where the third one is, right? No. So, I mean, I usually like to do, you know, I check top, you know, bottom, the sides. And then if you don't see it by then, you're usually safe to assume it's somewhere in the middle. Okay, I found it. Okay, and then I'll just go to where so, the jellyfish is. Yeah, it'll it'll usually go after the closer person. So um, if you keep some distance and you okay. want to have like a clean line. So whenever you're ready, just let me know. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. You can, you can kind of lure it around. Easy. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is these levels are like, um, what do you want to say? There's no bottom, there's no top. So we can kind of just like endlessly, if we yeah. go all the way down, we'll end up at the top. Okay. Again. So you can use this that to your advantage. All right, here's the second one. Okay. There's a crate. You should get it because you have less bombs. Okay. So what's the, uh, oh, beautiful. What's the goal here? Basically there you're are just, 99 of these. Oh my God. Um, and you want to get to the end. It's bragging rights, really. Like, Grand Pooh Bear said when he did it, it was the hardest thing in video games he's ever done. So, mm. it which didn't, basically didn't means it's like it's baby stuff. Really. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, okay, I that's found the, the third. third one. Uh, where was the door? Wasn't the it's, door? It's on the... low, like low middle. Uh, okay, let me. Um... Okay, I see it. Um, I'll, uh... You ready? You oh, just let me know. Wait, wait, wait. There's a spike trap. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm, I'm. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we're good. Hey. Um, let's go. There's a crate here. Okay, so some levels suck more than others. <laughs> I should let you get that. No, it's all good. Have you gotten the, to 99? Oh, no. My best is seven. Okay, I got one. There's another one right here, and the door is, like, kind of left side near the bottom. Oh, I got I got another one, too. Should I, should okay. I hit mine? You can you can get that one, and then we'll leave this one by the door. Okay, um, I'm on my way. Yeah, I've, I haven't honestly been playing nearly as much Spelunky. And when I died on 729, it was from a very, very avoidable um, instance. So I know I can do better, but yeah. So this lava is the problem. How did that happen? I don't know. Here, I'm going to watch it, watch it. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh. Just, we want to get on the left. So yeah, yeah, whip that, whip that. Oh, it's gone. And then I want to bomb. That one, watch out. Okay. You want me to bomb this one that's one above it? Oof. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Okay. okay, if we can, I see, I see how we can do this. I'm just gonna kill this ladybug. Um, okay. So like, this is pretty tricky. If you can come <laughs> down. I don't want to. So I can. Go, so there, that, that's uh, where it is, and you see the door, but the, the ladybugs and all the lava. Oh, I see the. I see the problem. Yeah. I kind of want to just bomb it. Here, wait. I'm gonna do this. Oh. Okay. I think this lava the, the teleporter blew up and fragged me. <laughs> 
Wait, how did it blow up? I think the bomb blew up the teleporter and it, it, it fragged me. Well, where was the teleporter? Oh, I don't know. It went blip. Oh, maybe lava. My jetpack caught on fire. Okay. Well, it's, that's oh, a different huh? story then. Never mind. All right. Well, I mean, this is. I'm not gonna do this without you because I can't. Yeah, there's, there's no, no coffins there's no here. coffins on the. So. Still um, though, dude, that was a that was a landmark run. Yeah, I mean, technically, if you really want to do it, like having a ghost on this. Oh wow. Okay, I'm just gonna have fun with this. But uh, having a ghost on this level, or these levels, is pretty good. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. All right. I'll just get myself killed. He, he do be doing it. Oh no. I'm trying. I know, but still. He can't be. He, it's not in his DNA. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yo, GG, brother. Yo, that was yeah, that was really good. I, uh, All right. Yeah, good, good timing too. There you go. Two no, hours nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You wanna? Do you wanna promote your your work on the platform? Yeah, whatever. Twitch.tv slash Mike Leo Fox. You can find me. Uh, you know, usually weekdays. Between 9 or 10 a.m. We've been going a bit earlier in the winter months to get going, but um, oh, wow. tomorrow's Tuesday. We'll play some games. Maybe some Splunky. Maybe a little more Tarkov. I don't know. We'll, we'll have a good time. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Later. Yeah. Bye. Dude, uh, we're going to play some chess. So I'm going to run some ads. We're going to play some chess. I am just a little surprised that Dan tweeted he ordered Indian food for the very first time ever. And then he posted a picture. I don't, it looks like maybe it's like chicken pakora. It looks it looks delicious. Don't get me wrong. But then he, I think he got like there's a soup that came with it, and he just says, "What do you do with it?" Or maybe that might be like pakora sauce. Just, just eat it, man. It's chicken tikka. Oh, that's the tikka sauce then. <laughs> It's butter chicken sauce. I, I I hope he didn't just eat the dry chicken then. And then <laughs> eat the sauce with a spoon. Oh. Anyway, hold on. I'm going to run some advertisements and then I'll, uh, I'll see you for some chess in just a moment here. First, I'm going to type in chess. I'm going to bring my water cup out and I'll see you uh, just momentarily. Yeah, eat these ads first.
I have returned. I'm ready. I'm back. But what you do before you play chess is you type in, give me a C, give me an Hess. What does that spell? Drop your answer in chat. <laughs> The man knows how to write copy. What can I say? Dude, also like so I'm I'm getting chess set up here. Don't do not uh fret. Whenever I play Spelunky for a long time, and I, I played for a long time today, because I also recorded a couple. My left thumb, it's like it actually kills some of the flesh. Like I on the after last Monday's stream, I was like washing dishes and the hot water like it felt like it burned my thumb and I was like what the heck happened to my thumb? And like the nail looked good except just at the part where like the nail is close to the skin, it was like dead. <laughs> it grew out in like a day, but it was like it was you know how a fingernail is like, you know, white that there was like a little section of it that was like dead fingernail or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's called Spelunker's Thumb, I think it's called. Spelunker's Thumb. All right, we're going to play some three minute chess. Just give me a moment here to get it started. Define dead. Like it was getting no neutrite. You know what I mean? No, no neutrinos? Is that how you say it? So I'm gonna play three minutes. We're gonna, cause I'll tell you why. My three minute ELO is my lowest ELO, I think. Except, I don't know, I guess if you wanted to play 30 minutes. Nope, that's still pretty high. We'll play, we'll play three minutes. And now you are on today's daily chess compilation. Really? We're playing, as Levy said, we're playing the Blackburn Klusterbor Gambit. You might not be familiar with it. The The Gambit was declined, unfortunately, but that's okay. So what, what was I on? I know I've been on a couple. I was also on um, the Daily Dose of Chess when I said, like, my opponent misclicked and this is where he's going to resign. And then they did. What was the next one, though? Or what was the other one? It was the shameful clip where you got mated in five moves. Oh, no. There's more of that. There's more of that coming. <laughs> Interesting. Delightful. Okay, I got a plan here. It involves this. Let's see how let's see how you like this one. Oops. I wouldn't have. <laughs> I would not have. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that one either. To be honest with you. All right. Just a just a simple 9 point advantage. But he's got a 5 second time advantage. Donkey, 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 donk. How are you finding stream chess after thinking that you wouldn't enjoy it? Um, well, I, I like it. It's easy content. I enjoy it. Um, it's a good time. I prefer sometimes on YouTube... Because on YouTube, you don't get a question like, um, or not a question, sorry. But you like, when you lose, you don't immediately look at like a big wall of text that's like undermining your self-esteem. Even though I know that's not their uh, advantage. Or th like that's not their intention, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
But uh, on YouTube, when you get like you get caught in a cheeky mate, you're like, you know what? Well played. On um, on tw- on Twitch, when you get caught in a cheeky checkmate, there's like 300 Elo players that are like, uh, you know, I saw that, and I'm like, you don't even see like, you don't see your hand in front of your face when I'm facepalm. I mean, this is one of those things where I'm like, if you want to just flag on time, like, like you just lost. You don't have to like be like a such a sore loser that you try to steal like some of my time. But also, if you're going to flag on time, like, don't play three minute chess, because honestly, this has just been a nice uh, this has just been a nice little break for us, honestly. If this was two hours, I'd be like. I'll just resign and take the L. But if, uh, you know, for three minutes, no problem. Just a little personal time. Take a, take a little drink of water. We got, uh, do I have lip balm? I should have lip balm here. Look at that. Was... S Hammer 75, a good sport. Gonna hit you with a no on that one. Let's take a quick look at the analysis. <laughs> Not trying to be rude, it's just the truth. All right. Yeah, they didn't really like what happened right here, which seems fair. Um, let's see. By the way, like, Levy taught me this, and it leads to some fun situations, but uh, the computer absolutely hates this line here. They think it leaves you, I mean, obviously it leaves you, like, one pawn down, but, like, they really don't like it. (laughs) They They kind of like it when they don't accept, which is fine. Anyway, so this is where it all went terribly wrong. You take that, you're still behind. We take that, they love it. You do that, they're like, what are you talking about? We do that, they're like, great move. Mm, Not so good. Not so good. I don't even know why I went... You know why I went through the analysis? It's because I won. I love going through the analysis when I won. Or when I win. Because then I get to be like, look at how smart I am. (laughs) When I lose and it's like, hey, you shouldn't have hung your queen. I'm like, yeah, I know. Tell me something I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, the ready opening, the Tennyson Gambit. Hmm, it's an interesting one. Um, I feel like I don't mind. Do it, do it. I can't move my knight again. I'll just move my queen. Can't move my knight. I'd rather just move my queen. <laughs> uh, you fool. Then you push him back, and he's like, I gotta go here, which is trash. Or I gotta go there. And then you're like, okay. Okay, what if I do one of these? What if I do this, though? What if I do this? I get some tempo. <laughs> oh, where are you going, dude? Where are you, where are you freaking going, man? There's nowhere to run. Um, anyway, I haven't really... I don't really know what we do after this. Where do you go? I don't know. You, if you move your knight again, I honestly... I say fair play. If you move your knight one more time, I say fair play to you. I choose to open up this to develop my other bishop. Honestly, in a three-minute game, I would love you to trade here. I didn't think you had the cojones. Am I willing to completely destroy your king side as a laugh? Yes. Yes, I am. It would would bring me a great amount of pleasure to do so. You know I don't mind getting weird. And you know what? I think I would actually love for you to do this still. Yeah. And then we just start attacking down here. Okay. Um, so next steps. Let's think about this. I think you got to freak them out. That's step one is we're going to freak them out a little bit. Didn't really foresee this coming. <laughs> we let him take. Oh, he could have just taken that. We got kind of lucky there. Yeah, this has not been strong play. Um, 
I don't mind if he takes this now. Please do. We don't have a ton of time. That's not a good move. Like, we can't be taken, but it's bad. I should not have done that. Kind of a weird move on their behalf there, but it's not hung because there's a pin. Come on, chat. Be better. Um, We still love this. Okay. It was not a great move because he, he could have gotten so much tempo back by just challenging me like in any way. Bro, like, you could just take it. It's already it's so takeable. I actually, I want you to take it. I feel like it's so much better for us if you just take it, but let's not let them know that. Okay, I'm, I'm concerned about timing, which I think is very fair. He wants to move this somewhere. Doesn't bother me. I'm going to stack it up. It's tempting. There's some temptation. Got to go a little faster. Oh, that's a good move. Is it? Yeah, no, it's that's a good move. Fair play. Let's fall back. Oh no, he's running. He's running the numbers. He's like, what if I do this? I take. Check. He's got to go here. Check. Yeah, that was probably the right play. Um. Oh, you know what? That's pretty good. This is scary. Take it. Cannot be done, unfortunately. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> okay, we gotta we gotta protect some stuff here. Time is very tight. On the other hand, generally speaking, attacking will win you games. In bullet, at least. Can't, can't do that. You can do that, though. Powerful move. That's probably the right response. I disagree with that one. What about something like this? Got to recover some time. Oh, it's a good move. It's a good move. <laughs> I like this. Oh, where am I? I don't even know where I am on the board anymore. I think I lost. I won on time. Let's go. <laughs> I was like... I feel like I was like 10 moves ahead uh, in the pre-move uh, department, but but it happened. Okay, check that out. Let's go. We were, we were pretty light on time. We had a pretty huge disadvantage there, but GM Dragon Bishop. Ooh, I think I like E6 better there. Levy, Levy's going to be upset. You know what? I, I like the, the gambit gambit. If you want to trade your bishop for the knight and give me this sweet diagonal by taking the pawn, then by all means, don't let me stop you. Yeah, we were moving so many moves ahead. I'm surprised they didn't. Okay. I mean, I see what you're doing there. That's actually that's a very interesting move. Um, 
because you're like, why don't you just take the knight? Well, so I take the knight, I get pinned by the rook. There's probably ways to get out of it, but I don't think it's it's worth trying. I think we, instead we just embrace the fact that this is like a horrible structure, and <laughs> we live our lives. <laughs> That's not good. That's not a good move. Wow. Um, consider ourselves maybe a little lucky on that one. <laughs> I got a whole game plan here. Yeah, we're playing 3-1-1 uh, one, one strats here. You, you wouldn't understand, sweetheart. Probably push. It's a good move. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention at all. Fair enough. This one we should lose. As of right now, at least. Oh, but he can't go here. Because then I would take him. He can go. That's that's a pretty good move. I see what he's thinking. Let's see how weird he wants to get. Maybe slightly recovered a little advantage there. Yeah, let's not do that and say we did. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I don't, I don't like it, but I respect it. Let's put it that way. I don't want to do the trade, but I do respect the trade. Okay, I see. Uh, I see your game plan. And I raise you not getting back rank mated. What will you do with this piece right here? Hmm. A little less uh, sodium chloride next time, mother. <laughs> I like this. I, it might not seem like I should like it, but check this out. Check this out, dude. Here's the thing. I go here, take, take. It's checkmate, basically. But what if I go here, and then he goes here? I, it's still it's interesting enough to be worth a shot. Maybe he'll just think I fricked up. Still checkmate. It's not checkmate. We just lose a rook. <laughs> In my head, I was like, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he, this is a resignation. He played very well. That's well done. We, I, I can show you in the analysis where we lost it. It was, in my opinion, yeah, it was this move right here. That was a three-point loss. They did play with 91% accuracy, which is pretty... It's pretty good. Not suspiciously good, but pretty good. 55 is not great. Okay. Fergal Gallagher. It's like a it's a very rookie like 1200 level mistake um to to move your queen out that quickly thinking you have like an amazing attack. That's what I'll say about that. I feel like I don't care. Unless I'm missing something here. I'm like, this doesn't bother me. Uh, do it. Do it. What would happen if you just if you just sent it? Didn't think so. Alright, we're gonna close that up. You know, I gotta admit, you gotta take. I forgot my bishop was there. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I mean, we're we're equal in material, but positionally, that's that's not a good uh, situation. On the other hand, I'm like, what if you let's get weird? It's not a good move. Just just a bad move, really. 
and now I'm just now you're just gonna fork me and I'm just going to resign because you deserve that. Fergal, take take your win. I I got lost in the sauce. That fork is gonna be hard to get out of. Do you think you should ever resign in weirdness? Um I think if you uh Yes, is the answer. But Levy says you shouldn't resign unless you're... Yeah, no, I know, but, like, you know, he's probably right if your whole goal is to just, uh, you know, win as much as possible. But um, if your goal is to play fun games, sometimes if you make, like, three mistakes in a row, you should probably just resign. <laughs> is Is my take. I, I love that you're staying there. Please continue to do so. Or if your goal is to get better. I mean, that's like a mean spirit. Well, not mean spirit. It's a bad faith argument, but it doesn't even apply. Because if you're trying to get better, stop playing three-minute chess. It's like junk food. Start playing like some like classical, you know, like 30-minute plus games. And then you can be like noble about it. Take it with the queen. And then I will go here. Ah, but perhaps you will then take this pawn. Do we mind? I think we would say that that's a good trade. So I'm expecting this, this. Maybe not. Let me think, because we... just I'm just working the numbers, okay? What if we were to do this... This oh okay so they don't they don't want the smoke which seems fair, um, then we will do that. Why didn't they just play d4? Because I would then, pop and take their their queen. I would take their queen following, the move known as d4. Then, we'll see what you got for me. Now here I would think like you know what. It's a pretty nasty pawn structure. That's a fork. Just walked right into it. Oh, it's... <laughs> Whew. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's not get forked, is my advice to myself. Also blocks this. I would say... I would say I like the take. Do you like the take? Ah! That's pretty bad. I think they see it. Yeah, I think they're like, what's the, what's the trick? Anytime somebody takes normally moves like in two seconds and then they take 30 seconds, you should probably just resign. Is, uh, is the other feedback that I have from playing three minute chess. I think this is a disaster for you. Now we've proven I don't know what I'm talking about. However, oh, I would love it. Please do. Yeah, I don't mind. And we can still push C4 like a boss. Crap on Deborah's desk, etc., etc. Dude, honestly, this is what we call um, the ramshackle castle. Most people wouldn't tell you about it because it's too powerful. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. That was not where we should have moved. I thought it was a bit meme -y, but it, it was not where we should have moved. I think this is winnable, though. We gotta we gotta pull a, pull ourselves out of one of these like meme worthy games. Like I don't know, he he just keeps throwing pieces at me. Like I maybe I'm missing something on this one. Like was it all just to save your knight? Was that like what the the whole thing was about? Or are you going for some kind of like cheeky like checkmate strategy here that I'm not privy to?
concede? I'm not con- I think I'm winning. <laughs> to be honest, despite the 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 way that this started, I actually think that I'm in the lead right now. Now we don't have a ton of time. And that's okay. They could do this, this. That would that would be interesting. They could still just take that, which I, I just accept as the cost of doing business. Leave it, leave it, leave the square, leave the, yeah, take this, take this, yeah, ooh, ooh, <laughs> it's not a fork, it's called a skewer, two different cooking implements. Getting a lot of time advantage out of this too. I can already see this is this is uh, chess.com's like nice game, uh, a wild and crazy one that had multiple swings. He's taking so long though. You're gonna lose your rook too. Oh frick! You're absolutely right. <laughs> Actually, he's gonna come out ahead if he does this. Hold on, hold on. There's plays. There's plays. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I was trying so hard to come up with one. Now that, you, you might not appreciate it, but that right there, this bishop setup move to cover this was the play of the game to keep his king locked in. Can't go there. Hold on. That's not the right move. Got plenty of time. Take, take, dunk. Yeah, okay. We win. Just for maximum BM. And because it actually matters in uh, bullet chess sometimes. I'm like, how many moves does this guy get to make? <laughs> Felt like he made like 20 moves before I made one move. All right, that was a good game. I just, the analysis in a three minute game doesn't really matter, I guess. But I do want to see the graph because I'm sure it's like. Yikes. Yikes. They had us down by five. They did have us up by 66, though, which is pretty good. I'm seeing double. Four queens. This is like a real opening, but I never know like what to do with it. That's not what I meant to do, but he pre-jacked a move, so I think we got super lucky. <laughs> I misclicked and uh just just happened to work. How about that? You love to see it. That's why you should always wait for your opponent's moves before you move. I know it's a controversial take. Nah, this time I don't, I don't really want to trade. I don't want to get as weird with it. I love this square. That's, that's a square I'm looking for in the future. You want to? Like, you do want to. Really? I feel like you shouldn't wanna, because then I got like this amazing discovered attack that you're you definitely want to spend a turn to do something about. Just for the record, otherwise I just go like uh, check, which is like a very strong move. Because then like I don't know, maybe you want to do like that or this. 
I guess you can't do that. Said you move your king. Okay, and then we just take this anyway. There's really no way out of that, but still. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. You want to you wanna take my queen? Who wouldn't? So then we, like, you can't move your knight. So we're just going to put a lot of pressure on this. And then we could always do that. And then if you want to trade queens, like, not to be... You know, not to keep it like, uh, you know, we should have act like you've been there before, but it'll work out very nicely for us. Let's put it that way. I love that half of chat is trying to help and then half of chat is just NL or they're just going Da Vinci over and over. Uh, yeah, but have you ever considered Da Vinci? So here's what you do. You take that because you're a good player. You don't want to trade queens. Okay, well, if you do that, well, then... And I'm going to do this. And then we got a little thread on this now. You can, you can see it's not getting any better. Was a, that was a GM resignation. Good manners. Because, like, I, I don't mean to be rude, but, like, here's the way I saw that going down once we got to, like, the end here. I was like, yeah, if you take with the queen, like, oh, my God. If you take with the queen, we just take the knight. Okay. But what I actually... I, I think taking with the knight might... I mean, I, I think demonstrably it's actually worse. Like, if we do this and you do that... No, they actually like it. It does leave you down by 16. But then we do that. And I don't even know at this point. I guess you have to do that. No, they prefer the queen. Either way, you're pretty much screwed. And we do like that, probably. Yeah. Anyway, it's one of those things where you're like... You can't really... Yeah, they're like, get out of there. Um, and you probably do something like that. <laughs> hey, you you deprived us of this. This could have been a this could have been a very fun line. Now you they they prefer maybe this first check. Yeah, then that. Okay. Anyway, it's just it's just fun. It was just a fun line. Hold on, where where was the misclick move? It's way back at the start. That was the misclick. They hate it. It was a two pawn disadvantage. But then what? <laughs> they they really like that one though. They think that move is is. Top of its class. I don't know why. Like, I, I think I feel like I played at the level of my opponents, which, you know, I mean, we also were playing on shorter clock here, but we're playing the London. Or maybe the reality is there's not that much difference between the 1300 and a. Uh, this guy does not like chess. Between a 1300 and a 1500. Is this this is like a troll opening, right? Like that's the that's the joke. Nice. You really own me. Now your bishop is garbage. It's incredible how trolled I am right now. Just a very weird setup. To say the least. <laughs> I'm like, this is... Dude, I mean... It's probably not... Like, the, the algorithm never loves this. But on the other hand, I'm not the algorithm. And I like it a lot. So... What the algorithm don't know won't hurt it. Won't, won't hurt. It won't hurt the algorithm if it doesn't know. Incredible move. Unless... I think if my analysis is correct, the computer is like, holy shit, you're a grandmaster. It's like, what are you doing down here in 
1,300 bullet chests. You're, you're actually the greatest player of all time. I, I need to... This is very much tooting my own horn. <laughs> I need to see how it feels about... Uh, it doesn't like that move to begin with, but just hear me out. How it feels about this move. How does it... Genius. F6 is best. Magnificent. It's one of the best items I've ever seen. One of the best moves I've ever seen in chess. Magnificent. Is Queen's Gambit worthy? I don't think he can get out of it anyway. I got a brilliant move once. I still, I still have not gotten a brilliant move. To the best of my knowledge, at least. But maybe I've gotten a brilliant move in a loss. I just never look at... Uh, I never look at analysis after a loss. Okay, hold on. How did it like the pawn trades? I'm pretty sure it's going to hate the opening because it was like just a meme. Again, like, I just, I'm not a teacher, but like, I'm not a teacher of chess at least. But like, if you don't want to play chess, there's any number of games out there that you could play instead of chess. You don't have to just be like, fine, I'm just going to play chess badly. Like, why don't you just go play, like, League of Legends or something like that? You don't have to just be like, I'm this memer. If you're going to play, like, a super meme, like, yeah, exactly. If you're going to do the Space Invaders defense, just play Bullet in one minute instead of, uh, instead of three minutes. Anyway. Yeah, there's 50 other clubhouse games. They're like, what are you doing? They're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm going to close them up anyway. They hate that. I wonder if they like this, though. They do. They're like, they're actually like, you shouldn't have threatened. Because, and sometimes it's the right play, I guess. But most of the time, I, I, on principle, I don't like the, the knight and bishop. Well, you, you give up a knight to take two pawns on the king side. But I do find it, uh, I do find it fun, especially in, uh, in small time constraints. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I've, I've realized that I actually don't know what I'm doing. I played the Dutch, but just for just for S's and giggles. All right. Um, not sure about that one. That feels pretty good. Yeah, like he moved the rook so fast. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. We want to do this. Take it. Don't even think about it. Oh, no, I'm not forked. Uh, yes, you are. That's where you are. You're there. Oh, I've been there. I've been there this very day. I don't know what that rook move was, man. <laughs> I'm not forked. I'm not forked. <laughs> okay. It's a hyper-modern opening. The King's Fianchetto opening. A lot of people in chess, uh, given the choice, they love to play symmetrical. That's what I'm realizing. Of course, it's not true symmetry because your king and queen are two different pieces. <laughs> you, want, you want the bishop, dude? Here's the thing. It's not a good trade for me to give you that bishop. But you spent a lot of moves doing it, and now my rook has this open file. And to be honest with you, my pawn structure actually, eh, it's not great. It's not great, but it looks okay. I'm not forked. I'm not forked. <laughs> ah! Good game. I'll give you that one. My bad. Oof. The gambit. I, I only play that gambit declined. Exactly. This is how we play this now. We don't push him in yet. We push him in like that. It's called Tempo, sweetheart. It's like the fastest castle I've ever seen. It's a bit unusual. Can't 
Oh, I'd, I'd love to. I'd, I'd love to. You want to you see some funky stuff? Check this out, okay? Oh, that was not the right... He's like, I don't want to admit I just got owned. So he's like, I'm not going to fall for your incredible gambit. Well. They, people, and I'm guilty of this too, you know, I'm stubborn. They never want to admit they made a mistake. So instead they will make like eight mistakes of their own. Just to be like, I didn't make a mistake that you forced me into. I chose to make a mistake. And actually, our pawn structure is like pretty good now. I think we'll do it like this. Okay, that's, I mean, probably I wouldn't have pre moved there, but what do I know? That would have been a great move for him. We should start pressing more like here. This is where we belong. Love it. We, we love to see it. And honestly, I think we close this bad boy up right here. I don't like your odds on this one, brother. I'm just going to be honest. Can't be stalemated because there is a uh, there's a pawn that he can move. Good, very good game. <laughs> I it's rare. It's very rare to see a triple pawn. You're not wrong. A tripled pawn is, is an unusual call. Man, we had 93% accuracy this game. Pawn sandwich. <laughs> so it's like, this is normal, normal, normal. How does, it, how does it like it? It's like, good move. Good move. Good move. Good move. Great moves. Still making good moves here. Still likes us. This is where... Like, things start to get interesting. They're like, why would you do this? You're going to get tripled pawns. Then this move, even the computer's like, this is breathtaking. They don't, li they don't like that, though. They're like, what the heck are you doing? Hold on, why? They just want me to move the knight? That's what cowards do. That's how cowards play chess. So hold on, let me see how this could have gone. Because they, they played it in probably the worst possible way. They lose a knight... They gain a rook. They lose a pawn. I feel like the queen probably just goes like here, maybe. Yeah. And then they lose a rook, and then I lose a knight. So how would this look in material? We would only be up by one point. Oh, they wanted to go with the check instead. Oh, that's, I don't know. Maybe they could have taken some pawns in the way. I think, uh, like... That would have been fine. Like, this game doesn't look that bad. But instead... Instead, they're like, I'm not owned. I'll take your piece. And then you're like, okay, I'll take your piece. And then they're like, okay. And then you're like, I'll take your piece again. And then you're like, okay, well, after all that, you're just, you're just down by a bishop. It, it really likes us here. <laughs> anyway. We got time. We got time for at least one or two more. Sorry, I was, I was getting high on my own supply there. Anytime you win and you do analysis, you're like, I'm a genius. Let's do more of that. Okay, pretty normal. Interesting. Delightful, even. You gonna try to close me in? No. All right. Now this is this is an opening. 
I feel like this is horrendous. Yeah, like I don't I don't feel like this is like bad for me at all anymore. That's the other thing. Yeah, you're you're not wrong. I don't really want to do like an analysis um of a game where I'm like, yeah, I hung my queen, you know? The analysis is kind of done for you. You shouldn't have hung your queen. Forehead, but still. Also, like, for real. Now, how are we going to try to win this game? That's the, that's the next question. I don't really want to double my pawns. I think we do something like this first. Feel like I do not mind. Feel like I still don't mind. Feel like I still don't mind. Yeah, oh, okay. So. Someone said, I thought NL was going to change his streaming schedule. That's starting Friday. That's starting on Friday. Starting from this Friday. We'll be doing uh, 11 to 4 Pacific time on the daily. I'm not stalling. I'm trying to get him to move his queen out of here so I can put him in checkmate. What? But But why? That's not what I meant to do, but I think that's better. I think I did a better move accidentally. Oh, that's... We got to watch out for that. Daily? I thought it was Friday to Sunday. Okay, you got me. It's Friday to Sunday. Not daily. Is every day but Saturday. What's the plan here? This this is the plan? This fork is the plan? Then please fork me. I don't mind. Interesting. Not bad. Okay. He's pretty much got a swap. He, okay. You could also just give up a, two pawns is the other alternative, I suppose. I didn't consider that outcome. Now... I'm thinking I'm forked. <laughs> yeah. That was a good game, though. I feel like we finally got switched on. I feel like we finally got, like, in the groove. All right. You know what? You, you've you been challenging me for the whole segment here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a shot. We'll even play the cluster bar gambit. And if you win, fair play. I don't even remember how you're supposed to play this. I think you develop your knight first. Then you can do that. I still, I need to figure out like what the heck you're supposed to do in the cluster board gambit. Because uh, as of right now, it accomplishes nothing. Which, don't get me wrong, is pretty cool. This is probably not the way you're supposed to play it, huh? We could trade knight for bishop. But where's the fun in that?
There is no fun in that. Just let it develop until eventually we lose as a result. Um, they have to deal with this. Do I want to trade bishop for bishop? I think it's okay. I think we could do that. Now we're, we're tied. We're tied in material. And uh, I have no coverage on my entire queen side. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, what do you want to do about this guy then? Fair enough. That's one way to do it. It's interesting. wonder if there's a way out of this. Obviously, we can do that. We'll lose this. I wonder if there isn't... You know what? Work with me here. I'm a bad man. The rook's hanging. Is it, though? I don't know what happened. I feel like I, I unlocked something in the old cerebral cortex. I'm not the same man that I used to be. Dude, thank God. Chess was the unpopular... Uh, it was the domain of unpopular nerds when I was a kid. Otherwise, I would be, like, completely insufferable. I can't imagine if I was good at chess while also it was cool to be good at chess. I would probably be, like, I would have no real friends, for sure. <laughs> that was a good game, though. That was a good game. I will admit, I'm I'm a little proud of myself for the way that things developed over here. I was I I was like, I don't know, just something about uh, about playing against a viewer was like. It it was like I can't lose. This is for everything. If you have one shot, if you have one opportunity. So let's see. We were like right around here. Would you take it, or would you let it slip away? I think white's leading by a little bit. That seems fair. They are up by a pawn. They don't like this move. They love it. They love it. They love it. They love it. Oh, they're like, okay. Mm, they don't like that one. They don't like that one either. But they hate that one because you just do that. And then they're like, good move. Oh, that was a good move. And then, oh. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm still at the level where I need my opponent to make a mistake for me to look like I know what I'm doing. But that was a... Uh, that one felt nice. They don't, they don't all... You know, they're not all created equal. Victories in chess. I mean, these were just obviously, like, not the right moves. But I think at this point, we already, you know, acknowledge that... This one's pretty much over. Anyway, that was a good stream. It was fun. Um, tomorrow, Dan and I are doing um, Escape from Tarkov. I don't know if Sips is going to join us. Dan and I haven't talked about it. I just kind of floated it out 